This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 695 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And it is the holiday special, um, non-denominational, uh, <laughs> just in case. Uh, but anyways, we got a hell of a crew here. First of all, we got up in Beacon, New York. The closest to the North Pole of any uh, of us. He's the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor from the from the WWE, and, and he keeps moving so fast. He's just kind of a Santa blur right now. Uh, it's Mad Mike. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a happy Hanukkah, a crazy Kronza, a tip top tet, and a solemn, dignified Ramadan. Mm, all right with the drinking. You forgot one. No, I didn't. That's oh, the entire Simpsons quote. It's a festivist for the rest of us. Mm. There it is. That's yeah, I was, doing, I was doing a Simpsons quote. Oh, okay. Sorry. There Unless you go. Yeah, there you go. Also with us, uh, we'll get Ronnie last. <laughs> the, the Riz is with us. Riz plays games. No, you, you, want, you, you can get Ronnie. It's fine. No, 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 it's, no. It's no, totally no. Fine. Just, no we'll I'm we'll here to you. No, we'll get to him. That visual is for later. I'm also here. Yes. Hello. I am the uh, Chewbacca of the... Star Wars holiday special. What version of the Wrestling Man show today? Okay. okay. Happy Life Day. Happy Life Day, Riz. Oh, fuck, I was gonna say Happy Life Day. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, he already brought it up. I already, I did already bring it up. I'm sorry. And we do have you've heard of the good guys are here. Zach Hunter. Hey guys. Happy Yule. Happy Yule. Uh, Brent Noctis. Sup yo. And of Shut course, Noctis. Ralphie Starks. I fucked that up. <laughs> You're just wow. sighing. Wow. <laughs> you look like a pink nightmare. <laughs> Ralph, does this mean you're going to be shooting tonight? I'm shooting on everything tonight. It's shoot season, brother. Oh, boy. <laughs> guess guess he was losing bookings tonight. Can, right. <laughs> can, we, can we shoot like Riddle does on Goldberg? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Oh boy! You know oh boy! Him. It's a wrestling mayhem show. There is alcohol involved. Uh, the Sorg is not drinking just yet, but we'll I see how that goes. Wait. But uh, it's early in the show, um, and it'll be fun when we get to predictions after there's some alcohol in our system. I'm sure. Ooh, uh, I but <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna predict yet. There this is the wrestling mayhem show. Uh, you can check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com, where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form. A lot of other great shows uh, over there, including the fi- uh, some great. And some beers opening, uh, including some great interviews with the fight, the Fight Society podcast, the Rise podcast. Um, I guess the newly defunct Fight Society Where's podcast. The good guys podcast? Uh, but <laughs> it's a good guy. Do we call we it do that need now? A good guy. What? The Rise what? and Fall of Fight Society. The like, what? Like what are we going to call that now? Are I don't we, know what. Are it's we gonna just going to do like fucking talk to guys like? So you remember your two years at Fight Society? <laughs> Well, no, just, just let's see, 52, oh, just, 52. I never, I never oh, lost that Triple Crown Championship. Well, with hey, neither did I. It's fun. Oh, no, Mike's got to say, we'll call it 104 weeks. Yeah. There you go. Uh, except the it's a monthly show. Triple Crown Champion right there. There you go. I feel, I feel Boom. Like we that was the first things. and never lost. And I still haven't lost it. And I never will, apparently. Exactly. So it's okay. Wow. Gonna, I feel like well, we can't call it the rise. I'm going to hold it forever. <laughs> but anyway, Me too. those wow. shows, Indie right. Mayhem Show, we had a great one with Marshall Gambino where he was having some hot takes about the indie scene. Um, we got a lot of great stuff coming up here through the holidays, including interviews with Danny Abel and uh, and Tyler Klein coming up. Um, the STD Christmas special will be filmed tomorrow. Not uh, as good so, as ours. Not as good way, as yeah, ours. there's a competition now. Nope. I, so, I still have I still have nightmares. Yeah, sucking <laughs> STDs. Yeah, every but time every time I every... see Santa Bradley uh, pop up in the timeline. 
Ugh. But a lot of great stuff over there at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please drop us a line at that email address. Good times. Good times, oh, oh, good oh. times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Wow. 412-206-WMS0 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. And we are live every Tuesday, except for the holiday break, every uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Facebook page. And if you're anywhere else, just uh, tweet us, hashtag us, WMS695. And also thank you to our Patreon supporters at Patreon patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show including our uh, followers over there uh, supporting us at the fan of the show one dollar level Bo Diggity my voice cracked Ed Berg Bobby F. J. Town Tina Keys Team Hammerfist at the Poppy Club five dollar level Bradley Poppy Ruthers Club. Doc Remedy Doc, Dave Potter and Kyle Turner Hi, Bradley. Pizza Club $10 level is our friend Ryan Clark. And at the manager $20 level, and he got to join us to talk about EFEDs last night on the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up, our friend Alex Cars at OccupyProWrestling.com. Please support the show, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody that does support the show. Helps pay some of the bills around here to keep the podcast going. So, let's see. I have I have good guys do stuff for the first segment. <laughs> so, what exactly are we doing? Do well, stuff and things. What do you want us to do there? If Mike? you haven't ca- caught the references and you're on audio, um, um, as many of you guys are, um, uh, you know, Ronnie, Ronnie is in a pink bunny suit, which is probably going to be the cover of this podcast. If, if you've seen the Christmas story, yes. that's what Ronnie's dressed as. Yes. How are you doing? any meme about the Christmas story, that's yeah. what Ronnie's if you've seen like. better movies, then you don't know what it looks like. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no. Honestly, oh. Ronnie, why didn't you dress as John McClane? I could have. Because it's really Ronnie cool has outside. too much hair to be John McClane. Well, not really. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Depends on which movie. He has some hair. Depends on that's, which movie. That's fair. That's fair. Um, <laughs> are you okay in there? I'm so hot. Because I know before you said <laughs> Yeah, you are. I'm Hashtag just, date Ronnie Starks. <laughs> single and ready to mingle. Like, this thing is really hot. Date Ronnie <laughs> Starks was the worst Ronnie Dangerfield movie. Right before the show, he's like, I'm really hot and I have to pee. Like, I, I'm That's literally... the title for the show. Fuck. Yeah, it is. Good. I'm really hot keep, and I Keep have drinking to pee. that beer, man. Just, just keep Wrestling putting it Man's down. Wrestling Man's holiday special. <sighs> I'm really hot and I have to pee. So I guess the good guys... All here. Well, oh, you put more stuff on your head, Zach. <laughs> I see. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Over there. Just more stuff. Uh, uh, first of all, the good guys had a hell of a 2019. Mm-hmm. You guys were birthed this year. Fuck yeah, we did. The funny mm-hmm. thing is, we had a hell of a 2019, but we really started in July. <laughs> <laughs> we, in reality, we might have had one of the best years of like Pittsburgh-based tag teams, mm-hmm. and we've been tagging for all of 20 matches. I mean, we we didn't get a tryout though. So. We didn't, but we've also not been tagging for three years and had to change our names. Yeah, Good yeah for you're guys. also not like near seven <laughs> feet tall. Also, and, uh, also not seven foot tall. Former football yeah. players and basketball, basketball players, players and whatever. I don't like to brag, like, but I'm five foot six and I'm a ginger. I, I you're definitely <laughs> less than five six. Don't try to. I'm and getting fucking signed. Six, a ginger, and one half of the good guys. Are you essentially a grown up Chucky doll? I am. Yeah. Pretty okay. Much. All right. Good, good to establish that. I'm like 5'4". Now, at no yeah, point in time not... will I make excuses <laughs> for the good guys not getting tryouts or signed to WWE. However, I was at one point in time told point blank by someone very influential in the NXT you know, locker rooms that if you're a American white male wrestler, the chance of getting signed are really slim unless you're a stud in Adam Cole. So, <laughs> here we are. Um, Wait, were you told cool. that by Adam Cole? Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. I no. can see that. No, not by Adam Cole. Yeah, I can someone else. Adam I can Cole. literally see Adam Cole just telling you, you're not, you're, <laughs> you're not me, baby. You're not a stud or me, baby. You ain't getting signed. No. And so, that's undisputed. <laughs> so at that point, hey, that's when I, I'd already boom. decided I didn't want to go to WWE anyway, because I yeah. want to go to Japan and spend more time there than anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at that point, I was like, good to know. I'm glad I don't, like, I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm here strictly for the networking and to say hi to you, sir. And that's how that went. And good times. Good times. Good learning experience. Got to wrestle in front of, you know, a couple people, you know, got good things couple said. people. <laughs> I, I don't, well, I don't try to name drop on like most people do these shows. So it's mm-hmm. like, I'll keep the names in my pocket for when we're talking in private. Okay. You can, name, you can, you can name drop on Patreon. Make people pay for that. Show. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> name drop on Patreon I'm all best day. friends with Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Hunter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, me. <laughs> Sure as fuck ain't Paul. <laughs> ain't Paul. Ain't delirious, right? <laughs> no. 
It always throws me when people talk Hunter, and it's like, it, you mean delirious? Like, no, delirious? they're always talking about me. Oh, yeah. Especially no. if they're talking shit, they're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has the balls to talk shit on Triple H. So, you know. <laughs> nope. I, like, Didn't we do that last time on the show? I assume everyone just hates me. It's fine. <laughs> That's safe. Oh. It's all right. I just piss people off on Twitter. I, I really don't okay, care. They can, they can hate me. It's okay, Zach. Zach. It's okay. Wow. No. I'll always love you, Zachary. I know. I'm sorry, Zachary. Zachary Banks. Zachary. Did he tell <laughs> him what I did? Oh, uh, he I'm in the group his, message. Yeah, oh, okay. he saw the picture. I sent the picture. It was hilarious. You he, want to share with the class? He uh, <laughs> like, he he, he had the Mandalorian picture, and he put Zachary as his name on my. Uh, because that's what Ronnie calls Zach in our group text is Zachary. Zachary. Okay, Zachary, and I didn't Thackery? get the reference for like a good two weeks. And Marina and I made fun of you for weeks until you. I didn't care. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a big hocus pocus guy. <coughs> that, that's a crime in and of itself. Yeah. Uh, Riz, were you trying to say something there? Yeah, so no, I was, was going to say, we can just sit back here and let them go. It's fine. Oh, good, because yeah, yeah. we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, fuck you, Riz. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the show. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> last oh, time, last time we did the show, we sat here and buried the uh, WWE to Mike. <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, do Ronnie texts us. He works there. And we're like, we're not going. It's okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to try out. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to get looked at and go, laughed so at. It's fine. I want them to go. Oh, you're kind of fat and white. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that look on Mike's face right now. He's like, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> Well, I mean, hold on. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure Paul is listening every week, brother. <laughs> If there's yes, one podcast, Paul is just to Oh, they're the boss. Oh, yeah. I need that thing so bad. Oh, I need that fucking puppet. Tis the season, motherfuckers. How do you not have a Santa hat for the for the boss puppet? Yeah, you need one. Like I feel because like I don't want to buy a fucking elf on the shelf sword. Oh, okay. Why well, don't just make one? Can't you just buy the elf on the shelf clothes? I'm not a fucking elf. I can't make. We that. had the same conversation, sword. It's like ten bucks, man. Go to fucking Walmart. Get cheap two pieces of fabric, cut triangles, put some. I was building Hogwarts. Stop being such Ask a your cut. fiance to do it. He has been. We did get a, a Hogwarts update on the Patreon we did. earlier, we did. so and I, I guess previewing because. Noctis, you, 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 and, you and your child are supposed to be building it together. Yeah, that, that's her. That's her. Her birthday is next month on the twelfth, mm. and so she already knows what she's getting for her birthday because we've been talking about this for months. Mm. So I was like, "This is what your big present is." So don't ask for anything else because I'll tell you no. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually uh, the the Hogwarts castle was actually a present I got for asking my fiance to marry me. That's nice of you. Or her, her, her. Wait, you had to be bribed yeah. to ask Wait. her. Wait, no, Whoa. I did not so have wait, to drive. Wait, you asked but her no, hand no, to marry no. you, and then you took that hand and went to the store and bought that. <laughs> well, like, no, that she hand, well, it actually had to take had it hands, in her though. closet very mixed. Oh. oh, she was <laughs> she just had... so your hand was just waiting. You pre bought it. Yeah. And in, like, in my mind, what happened was her father said to you, Here's the diary from my daughter. You ask her to marry you, and you get this Hogwarts castle to build a lot of Legos. You're like, You don't get a cow, you don't get money, you get. Hogwarts Legos. What is this? The nineteenth century? <laughs> Apparently, that was his present for asking her to marry her. Oh, and, then the like, and then he's like, "I don't actually have to marry her. All I can do is ask her, and I get the Hogwarts." So and I can milk it for as long solid. as I can. And, yeah. and I will go ahead and quote uh, Morty and be like, "You son of a bitch, you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> well, as I build this before the wedding, I'm good." <laughs> Did you watch uh, the last one with the snakes? Not yet. That's goofy as fuck. <laughs> the dragon one's my favorite one ever. Oh, the the best. dragon? The best. Dragon sluts? Yeah, what? Dragon, what? dragon, dragon sluts. Dragon sluts. Lots Ricky, Rick and Morty. Yeah. 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 I'm in. I've been calling my dog a slut dragon for the last week. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I never laughed so hard in my life. When he walks uh, out with the dildo staff, I fucking did, lost it. Did, I had to leave the room. I was like, I'm done. Can't. Did you see that they're coming out with a pop figure of Rick on the shitter? I'm gonna buy it. He's <laughs> he's king shit, man. Yeah. If you haven't been told by now, this may be a little bit less about wrestling tonight. No, so. it's just gonna be us talking about <laughs> shit and shit. Sorg, in the chat room, we have um, he looks like the mall Easter pizza. bunny that got fired for drinking on the job and trying to hand out beers to the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't Wait, about Ron- Don't on. tell a people the bad Easter things about bunny. Oh, we're talking about Ronnie. Yeah. Who the well, fuck else is sure an Easter bunny? Talking costume. about me. Do I look like an Easter bunny? I don't know what you do in your free time. Uh, yeah, I do. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I build Legos. Makes more money than us. <laughs> yeah. I just assumed it was build Legos and masturbate. 
Like that was it. Yeah. I mean, you're not mm. wrong. No pop for that. Fuck you. No, I pop. I pop for it. <laughs> I'd pop if it wasn't true. Yeah. Like it wasn't a joke. We're just talking about personal life things now. Like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> We're just getting deep. I'm just getting deep. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. That's what your wife's gonna say on uh, your wedding night. You're just getting deep. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No, too much. Uh, no, nope. oh. yeah, with his basilisk. With ba- basilisk. Full circle, guys. <laughs> hey! Full circle. Hey! Wrestling. With that. <laughs> Wrestling. I think it's time, Mike. I believe it's time for our first commercial of the night. Uh yes, it is. Sir. Mm-hmm. Um, so, guys, I was contacted by. Um, this group that um, they put together a Christmas wrestling album. And together? TNA. I'm in. No. Um, so I'm going to... They, they, they only gave me a full uh, a full lyric, full um, set of lyrics for one song. But I'm going to go over the whole album. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's just the wrestling Christmas album. Um, songs we have on it. Oh, Little Town of NXT. You're a Mean One, Bastard Pack. Mm-hmm. I saw Lana kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> Rudolph the Jobber tag team. Oh. oh. Goldberg got run over by a Hummer. I'm we three kings that. of the ring. Jay White Christmas. That just sounds messy to me. Uh, turn him heel, heel. Turn him heel. Turn him heel. Rocking around Le Champion. Santa brother. And a Molly Holly Christmas. <laughs> now, uh, now the last song we have here, um, sort sort. If if you don't mind, I'm I'm just going to sing. It's not long. Um, I, I don't think I can stop you. So no, you can't. You literally can't. You could just right, talk um, over him. Well, that would just be rude. Yeah, let him sing. Have what? you met me? Let him. Let <laughs> no, him I have to. Let him sing. Let him let sing. sing. Eat your pizza. Yeah. Thackeray, eat your pizza. Uh, it'll be it'll be great. You mangy feline. All right. Uh, it, the song is called Watching in a Wrestling Wonderland. <clears throat> wrestling fans, are you listening? It's the time we've been dreaming. So much content, you can't get enough. Watching in a wrestling wonderland. Raw and SmackDown are the normal. They've been here for way too long. If they're not your thing, I really get it. Watching in a wrestling wonderland. Wednesday evening seems to be the hot spot between A dub and NXT. You can enjoy either program on your weekly viewing of TV. But you say I cut cable. It's okay, bro. I gotcha. There's tons of wrestling. On the internet, watching in a wrestling wonderland. You can get the WWE Network. He has a whole Have you even heard of Fight TV? Did you know that New Japan has an app? There's even an All Impact Twitch stream. All these shows ain't it thrilling? But if you feel your ass a numbing, just go outside and see some live fights. Watching in a wrestling wonderland, and that's it. Woo. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at I all. Like it. Yeah, I, I hate it only because they didn't mention NWA hey. or Josie. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> brought it back. <laughs> hey, you know what? He it's was on TV a, this week. It's not a white power Christmas. All right. Oh, oh. wow. I'm just gonna go home. Hold on now. <laughs> what yeah, did I say? It was white power. By the time I hit the old no, dusty no, not trail. That. <laughs> He's more Jesus. referencing the whole Jim Cornette racism thing. Yeah, uh, that's what yeah, I was. Yeah, it was yeah. a joke. Eh, fuck racist Jim jokes Cornette. are still racist jokes. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, mean they're not funny. They're still racist. So, and, oh. and, and time out. Speaking of white power, Vinnie Mac is still in charge. <laughs> Why are we still so... fucking talking about this? <laughs> the, I mean, he did say the N word live on television. Yeah, yeah he did. Is, yeah, is... that, that's a fair point. You guys and, and want we, to talk about? And ACH? we make fun of Booker T still after all these years. No? But, yeah. but if you notice, I didn't have songs about either of those things. You're right. So, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Good. It's been a rough year. It's been a rough year for some I'm people. I'm so glad we didn't sing about White Power. Good job, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a way to end the year for the good guys. <laughs> I'm not and, getting booked anymore. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing I'm quitting the business. <laughs> you still got five more years, Ronnie. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't wait for uh, your, I can't wait for your third retirement tour. <laughs> I was there for Ronnie's first retirement. He was there for the first. Oh one. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he wasn't yeah. though. I was not. No, I wasn't there. So wait. So I was there. So you retired once. I did. Okay. I uh, I took a like, two years off. That's right. Okay. It was very nice. I rang mm. the bell for his match. You did, and I got really bored after two years, and I just showed up at Black Diamond. Rick's like, "You want to work?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> just was that up. wasn't that with um with us? I can't remember. With me and Harley. No. I feel like it was. It was. I think it was. So you were there for his retirement to start, and you're the reason he ended it, and he came back with you and Harley. No, no, no he was. No, no, he was with uh. MTO versus us. Yeah. Oh, so that was my first Still a train wreck. Okay. Was that it? Uh, <laughs> it was. Crazy about sports. Yeah. What? That was my first freaking Wait, crazy? Yeah. Wait, is that the venue? Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, it's in, in uh, West Virginia. Okay. It's a nice in, uh, venue. I was about right. It's the one in Weird. They don't really run there. There's a lot of anymore. interesting sports complex It's names. actually really it's like, like a, it's like an old, it's kind of like an old school like Black Diamonds is now. Yeah. Okay. But okay. It, Except but it doesn't look like. They just like rent out the gym. And it doesn't look like a rundown. No, it looks like. Fucking pig nightmare. I got. I got to give the Rick like he's putting a lot of work into. Oh that yeah, place. Rick works yeah. harder than anyone else. Like no, when right. I showed up this last show and there's like literally a whole different entrance. Mm-hmm. Where it, I love that entrance. It was like yeah. when, I didn't, no, no, we no, had no, to no. walk. No, not the entrance. Like the the side entrance for the fans. Oh yeah, it was in a different like part of the ramp, building. Yeah. That's nice too. Yeah. I was he like trying, tore down a wall or something. Yeah, I'm like, where does how. He chopped down with the edge of his hand. See, all of you <laughs> walked. I just went in the same door. I went in the same that door. We walked. We went, and then I'm we like, so we had to go around. And then I'm like, where the fuck are the fans coming from? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. No, so. I'm taking a sled down that ramp where the bathrooms <laughs> are. No, I'm doing it. I don't do care. It. I'm doing do it. it. Oh, but, all right, back to Ronnie's retirement. Though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so for, I was there. Yeah, you were there. Like, next but time you retire, I rang the in, bell. I was a green boy. Yeah. Next time, you, next time you retire, it's in this outfit, right? I got like four years left. After okay. This so, year, yeah. well, all right. It's so about here, the color of Mark Henry's salmon jacket. No, I it promise. Is. Yeah. I, yeah. This I promised with, them that I would do. This would happen. Four years. So we decide we're going to do this whole good guy thing, and we out of the blue said, "You know what, Ronnie? We don't need a manager, but we want you to be our manager because we want to do this. We definitely don't need a manager. But we love Ronnie, and Ronnie's fun <laughs> to be around, and he's solid. Like we can use him. Like we yeah. can actually use Ronnie." Like the need he, for a manager's not there, but the use for Ronnie exists. He could actually enhance what you guys are doing. Yeah. Okay. It's so, like CM Punk and Paul Heyman. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Well, to mean, a much CM lesser Punk degree. Yeah. Ron. Except but, I'm, you I know. would say to a much better degree, but that's just me. I mean, but, so we're sitting there. I, I at, give Ronnie shit. It's just. What I, I mean, do. sure, I'm the CM Punk of the group. I understand. <laughs> 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 but, so we're sitting at Sheets after a show eating, waiting for a food for way too long for the one person working at Sheets this night. Oh the God. one that Ronnie drove to the wrong Sheets because he couldn't see the one in front there, of him. Literally, apparently. you could see the other Sheets from I the Sheets we were at. That and that well, Sheets yeah, was way less it's busy. It's not like they're not that. It's not like another block away. You'll see another Sheets. But that's it's, exactly what it was. Like you, like, like, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, continue. So we're right. talking. And Ronnie's like, yeah, I think I'm going to hang it up at the end of this year. I was like, what are you talking about? We just brought you into this. We need five years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I've got a five-year plan. If we don't make it somewhere and get signed in five plan. years, okay, we're down to part-time. Like, I was like, Ron, you give us five years or we're not doing this. He's like, all right, I originally five gave years them, it is. I originally gave them one solid year. And I was just like, all right, one year and then we're done. And they're like, no, you're not. And I was like, I'm like, all right, we have five years. If we go to Japan in one of those five years, I'll be satisfied. And that's that's that was the conversation. Yeah. While waiting for food and me getting yelled at for taking too long to come home because the missus was angry with me. <laughs> yeah, she's in the bathroom with Bella. Okay. I'm I can not t- sorry he came home late. I can talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a five year plan. Would you like to share some more of this five year so, plan? Well, the whole- and the first NWA. First the NWA, NWA. And then Japan. Russell Josephus, just me. I don't even care if he's there. <laughs> that's just, that's just a Zach. That's just Zach's goal. He really loves Russell uh, Josephus. And then the side project we're doing. Yeah, okay, the side, the side project. project. That's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to actually bring that. Like, start doing that. By the way, I like that that Mike's input in the side project just made a Booker go like, "What the fuck?" Are we? <laughs> I was gonna say. Is, are we talking I was say, is that about the side, the side project, project yet, or we're waiting? No, uh, we're waiting. We're, we're gonna, gonna wait. wait. Yeah, yeah, wait. Like, I literally just I. I have no idea what's going on with that. I just get ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's you okay. Can take or, you can take them or leave them. Well, it's, like, a, it's okay. I'm going to run out the battleground. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we run out the WrestleFlex? <laughs> Is that we're going to know? <laughs> Sorry, I had uh, to. I just, mm-hmm. I apologize. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't, don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> um, anyways, back to this five-year plan, please. Oh, so oh. it's 
this next coming up, this next year coming up, really is just about us getting to every place we possibly can. Yeah. We're about mm-hmm. to go hard as yeah, fuck. like really, yeah. really, uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. So here. I inadvertently <laughs> really tried to piss off my my significant other by uh, taking a a loop of bookings with uh, Zach and another gentleman and not telling her until after I agreed to the loop of bookings. Oh no, <laughs> she um, was not happy. She was you just could have like told me and like. But she presented as a, I didn't ask her, and I was like, well, I don't have to ask you anything. Sorry, bud. And that didn't go over well either. That was a lot. Of, we argued for like a week and a half about it. But that, I told my girlfriend the same thing. We didn't argue. She just said, okay, bye. Yeah. Well, she, <laughs> you've been here for eight years. Mine still likes me. I don't know why. I haven't stopped being mean to her yet. I'm just single and do what I want. It's fine. Single ready to mingle, whereas baby. I'm, whereas, whereas I'm like, hey, we took this booking in Charleston, West Virginia. Hashtag You're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that that but that's that's the it's we're gonna go as hard as we can mm-hmm. for the next X amount of years and like I, well, the first the first step is someone in this group has to get their passport. Please zoom in on Zachary. I applied. I'm <laughs> waiting for it in the mail, bro. Look, so like me and Ronnie can right now go yeah, to Canada, Mexico, Japan, England, and wherever. Wait, so but I, only two of us, you know, wrestle in this group. Can I actually? Well, can I actually well, tell you something about no, the I'm passport? I'm not gonna wrestle anymore. Now. I have a weird fear that like it's gonna get denied for some mm. random reason. It's like, not have you done here, something fine. illegal? Do you not have, like, that I know of. But what do you mean? How do you not know if you've how done do something you illegal not, to get you banned from traveling from country to country? There are some days I don't remember, brother. I have a couple unpaid parking tickets. They gave me mine. Now that's a real brother answer right there, though. That's just days I don't remember. I'm not even <laughs> shitting you. There are. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, dude. It's fine. Man. I used one to run with some weird people before I got into wrestling. Well, one day now I work, run into some weirder people. One day at work, I was talking about my manager and who I know very dearly. She's a friend. I can't remember her name for the life of me. Someone goes, "What's wrong?" I was like, "I got hit in the head this weekend really hard." I don't. Sorry, I'm concussed. Expect nothing out of me. The best ever was when you fucking took that bump and tried to do it. A nip up, and you're like, oh, "Am I sad?" Oh my god! I was like, "What are you, 80? <laughs> oh my god! Well, the well, after that, hurting my neck that one match, I haven't been able to do anything about my arm going numb. So, oh jeez! Well, wow. So I yeah, told get Zach it out like, there, so we just don't get booked. Don't worry about oh, no, five guys, more years, huh? No, no, he's fine. His you arm's not numb. Five years. The arm's fine now. My neck might be broke. Bitch. Whatever. That's all. It's all right. It's fine. Fuck you. You can make it five. It's fine. That's why I don't bump yeah, anymore. I just years. crumple. Make it look like I was just knocked crumple. out. That's what I do, man. I just crumple cr- now. Crumple yeah. and I roll out of the ring. Now that you say it, you sure as fuck don't. Like, I've standing on the apron this last weekend, like, watching him. This motherfucker doesn't bump. No. Ever. Like, I, because, again. <laughs> he just, like, uh, I, If there's a reason, <laughs> I, why would I flat back <laughs> off of a punch in the face? That makes no sense. It's stupid. Dude, when bumping I'm t- is I would dumb. say, like, you don't even bump for, like, a suplex. You like take it on the side. I don't. I, I did take that one suplex. I'm so upset about it. What's that, Mike? That's the Ric Flair method, bumping on the side for mm-hmm. a suplex. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The, uh, the face bump. Sorry. Well, I, we, I took a superplex uh, two months ago and I landed completely flat and my leg went numb. I was like, oh my God, my back hurts now. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I was like, <laughs> I yeah, I landed. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. I had to roll out of the ring. Why did I agree to team with you? <laughs> <laughs> so you can take the bumps for me. Oh no, sir! Uh, my days of doing. He says that to me, well, and then he, yeah. but then he watches our matches and like, yeah, we're not bumping I'm, shit. And yet somehow you don't bump. I'm not bumping. What the fuck you think this is? Why is it for like the past year I've been bumping a lot? Like what the fuck? Yo, I have probably bumped more since we started tag teaming than I have in the four. I know, years right? I've been like I've been bumping a lot with you guys, with all OSHA. Sudden, like all of a sudden, like oh, Ronnie's just gonna start working now. All of a sudden, <laughs> I just started working that? hard. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I really wish we'd have planned this ahead of time and had Sorg pull up the footage of that that bump from the afternoon on the main paint and Graham from Stop All Cancer. I'm over <laughs> just, here. Just me falling. I'm over like, here doing head scissors and fucking Canadian Destroyers. <laughs> no, no, no. I would not. First of all, you're not doing Canadian Destroyers. You're doing Canadian Fall Over. I did. I did one. No, no, the one was with... good. The one was good. The so, one was good. The other one was not too good. So, this past weekend, we work a gentleman who... Great worker. I'll, it's I'll my favorite out. wrestler. Hashtag Bill Rose. Boogie love man, Bill Rose. Bill, Bill, Bill Rose. Rose. But Zach doesn't inform Bill. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do a destroyer. Doesn't tell him that he might be the heaviest 205 pounds you're ever going to move. I'm dead. So he goes <laughs> to do it, gets to the top. You know that point where it's like, there's no return? Like, you got to go. He goes. Mm-hmm. And Bill flat backs on Zach. That's <laughs> no up getting took a flat over. Back and he it's just landed on my chest. the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like, it was tremendous. I got the video. I'll show you later. Oh, that was a good <laughs> it's one. It's funny. Yeah. We're, we're going to do a good guy's highlight reel of just the low lights. <laughs> My, the, the destroyer is right at the end. The, like the very last one. <laughs> I'll put that on Botchamania. <laughs> the first destroyer was really good. Nobody was there to Again, see it. It was not really good. It was 
okay. It was okay. You guys, you guys are going to be over on you're not getting booked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're you're the next Dennis Stamp. Like collectively, all three of you, right? Just all three of them on a trampoline together. I got to go back on a like, diet, so I'll start doing the trampoline the... stuff. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get booked all over the place. It's going to be all right. It's okay. 2020 yeah, is going to be a good year weight. for us. 2020, hashtag year of the good guys. Mm-hmm. Year of the good guys. We're going to be all over the place. We, are a bunch of, we got a bunch of stuff coming up, right? Yeah. You got, yeah, you got, good class, you got classic war games match in the can. Uh, I mean. I, dude, not, I knocked that off. You guys. You guys. Iron Man, that sucker. Man, that war games match was so good until the end. <laughs> you, I mean, I mean, matching outfits and everything. We got there. You got that picture back there. That was the best. Where's that? Right, Where's it's right it? behind Hold you, out. right on the end there. Hold up, right on the end. Look yeah. at this. You guys on video. Look, they did Hashtag up. good Dudley's yeah. full on uh, Dudley the way, boys. We are in 100 percent endorsed by Bubba and Devon. We, we are. Yeah. We are. Check I'll, the Twitter, bro. He 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 dropped names. I did. I'll, I'll I don't care. I'll pocket. drop them all day long. Bubba and Devon acknowledged us. And I'm they did. Super mm-hmm. excited about it. Devon mm-hmm. smacked us with all my brothers testify. Dude. Fuck. Dude, dude, dude. Devon, <laughs> Devon is like, we, we were posting stuff from his RWA appearance this month. And he's like commenting on our Instagram and stuff. I'm like, what's up, Devon? <laughs> so. see, Devon's a good brother. I yeah, like Mr. Yeah. Devon. He's a professional. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Not the Harley T. Speaking of the like professional, how's Harley doing these days? <laughs> I don't know. He just, <laughs> oh my God. Hey, he just, won, not the, the uh, he just won that stupid Masters Championship. <laughs> That's something, be, that's something to be proud of. Bone Valley Pro Masters Champion. I told him, I was like, yo, you need to rename it the Professional Championship. Yes. And defend it everywhere. And he's just like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, I'm giving you good ideas. That's mm. that's how you get the company yeah, over. I've been giving Harley good ideas for four years now, and he doesn't take one. No. And, and look at you now. You're with two good talent, and he's no, still shitty as hell. I don't often it's just You know the crash test dummy? Yeah. I that was I was designed for him. Was it? Yeah, but he would. He was like, no, brother. Well, I was like, brother. I said, I'm not saying do it everywhere. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The key is a better idea than the crash test dummy. Okay. You're right. You're right. Well, stop it. You're gonna stop giving. Yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. But back to your idea. I don't even know if people know what crash test dummies are anymore. Back in my day, no one, young, no one under the age of 25 probably. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you well, remember we, they made crash test dummies action figures that actually? Yeah, apart. they had the cars yeah, the too that would yeah. uh, break yeah. apart. Yeah. Cartoon, video game. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it was a Nintendo mm-hmm. game. Oh yeah. yeah! Actually, I lied. Uh, my daughter would know what it is because there's this game where you can beat up a dummy, where but you can actually shoot it. And so one day I realized she's shooting a crash test dummy. I'm like, man, this is where the school shooter starts. Like mm. this is where they all started was these apps. So, right so here. she beats a, up a dummy. How many times do you beat up your dad a week? <laughs> man, oh. that took oh. so long wow. to register, guys. Yeah. Oh. Like, you're like what? Oh, sorry, man. Like Jeez. it's okay. I I I was upset and I saw. I was like, Bella, come here, so I can power bomb you under the bed. So I just picked up and threw her under her bed. She goes, No, oh. tuck your chin, kid. Did anybody <laughs> see that video of that kid power bomb another kid in a wrestling match? No. Oh, oh, and oh like, yeah. Oh, dude. Is this, is this yeah. a new one? Yeah. Well, like it's literally high school <clears throat> wrestling, and yeah. he just he picks him up like it's nothing. Just drops him on his head. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he freaking killed him. Yeah, I've seen that pop up a couple of times. That's but, not how you work, yeah. brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he knows wrestling's fake, right? Like, That's how you work yourself into a shoot. Well, it's like how many kids probably, like get into amateur wrestling? Like, I mean, there's there's plenty mm-hmm. that now we've talked to like they got into amateur wrestling as a precursor for professional mm-hmm. wrestling, yeah. and then how many get it do that and say and, and still didn't get the distinction yeah. yet? You know, this it's like guy. the episode of South Park where they're like, "This guy right here, they go do professional wrestling." Was that? Oh, like, Riz, Riz, you did that? I did it. You yeah, I... one season. I I did it for like a half a season in like the fifth grade, maybe. Yeah, yeah. They didn't offer it in my school. If they did, I absolutely would have. You didn't have amateur wrestling in your school. I went to Catholic school. Oh, oh yeah. see, it's funny you said. Oh. I, was gonna say, I thought it'd be like me. Yeah, the only, the only male on male wrestling we have involved a priest. Oh, oh. oh. Catholics are wonderful. Is. Not me though. <laughs> priest rape children. Sure. Not an right. child. So it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's good. At all. I just didn't have football. So I mean, what? Cock the only sport we had was basketball. Yeah. Oh, wow. That makes that sense. Cool. You can yeah. recruit for basketball and out of Catholic schools. I wanted to play mm-hmm. hockey in high school. I just never did it. I had to tell, I had to make sure Bella knew she was allowed to like punch people or kick them or she wanted to do a yeah. super kick in wrestling. I was like, you can't do that. <laughs> no, you do it. You can't do it. No. <laughs> you can't do it. I'm going to need well, to yeah, do it. Do it. But, but, kill somebody. It's fine. But, <laughs> yeah. Like, so, <laughs> so yeah, you had to have the talk. We're like, listen, yeah, what, we had, what oh. daddy does is not what you're allowed to do in high school. Yeah. But yeah. we did find out because 
I don't know all the rules because she's in youth wrestling. And youth wrestling is yeah. not the same as, like, in really? youth basketball, you play with inside of your district, right? Yeah. Wrestling's not like that. You have leagues just like everything else. Yeah. So, you go so everywhere. Yeah. So, her first meet was at South Allegheny, like, two weeks ago, right? Yeah. So, we're getting mm-hmm. up, we're up there, and I'm watching kids do, like, these little... And, and you didn't do amateur wrestling. So No. So, no. she went to my alma mater. She goes to my alma mater. We didn't have wrestling program until the year after I graduated. I decided when I was in the Army... I wanted to pick up wrestling to stay in shape and get my ass kicked for three years by other really high-level wrestlers. So now I'm coaching youth wrestling. I hate kids. I don't even like my own kid most of the time. Aww. So I'm coaching five, six, seven, eight, nine-year-olds. I want to kill myself. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate it. You're terrible. Like, and the worst are the – like I've been to wrestling tournaments, like younger wrestling tournaments. The parents there are oh, the – oh, yeah. Fucking worse. To be fair, that that's pretty much any parent for any sport. Mm. That's, uh, no, my take that up a level. Baseball, baseball, wrestling, and baseball. <clears throat> baseball parents oh, like baseball. that too. Yeah. yeah. My, my sister used to do competitive softball. There would be two or three parents that would go to the other fields in the area to scout the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. are you? fucking serious it's wow. windmill pitch softball motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> all right well the hey kids are 11 calm uh, the fuck down this ain't hideo nomo that you're watching okay <laughs> wow. Hideo hideo nomo. Nomo. <laughs> wow anyways hey you know speaking of people that are how are you gonna turn this around Thanks, and then, you know how are you gonna turn this around transitions speaking is, of is wrestling it? that 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 uh, uh is going somewhere uh go to <laughs> indie wrestling.network <laughs> watching uh, it in a wrestling got, wonderland it is a wrestling wonderland over there it Back just posted sword. tonight is the one year anniversary of prospect pro wrestling including Yay. the very first crowned uh, top prospect champion and tag team champions for the promotion in one night from this past Saturday night. Marshall Gambino, like I said, was here on Indie Mayhem Show talking about their first year as Prospect Pro Wrestling. Uh, they had seven great shows this year. Uh, they're hey. they're they're going up to ten shows in the next year. Wow! And uh, and I was and actually watching that. You're at, you're watching what? I was actually watching Prospect Pro Wrestling. Oh, okay. A bit ago. Oh, you were. The that uh, when you, on my PlayStation Four on your PlayStation Four, yes, fantastic, fantastic. We are available on the PlayStation via the browser. It actually works yes. really well on PlayStation. It does it? That's awesome. I know it's been working on Xbox One for people, Chromecast, um, through AirPlay on your on your Apple devices. Um, it's it's uh, available on all those things, and under the VHX app, which I believe is the Roku, um, you can sign in with that. You can see Prospect Pro Wrestling. You can see the 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 uh, 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 development of the good guys, you can in Black Diamond Wrestling. I was gonna say not at Prospect Pro Wrestling. I mean, no, no, not there. <laughs> However, not, not, not again. Not, not if, yet. yet. If Marshall Gambino anyhow. is watching and you want a really good tag team, because mm-hmm. I will gladly come and wrestle Santana and Hooven. Mm-hmm. I love Fuck me Santana. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, and congratulations to Santana yeah. and Hooven. Shout out to Santana Diamonds and Dan Hooven, um, first tag champs. Hardcore Hooven. To, to yeah, my boys. Uh, but no, I I have to give a shout out um to John Roden. I don't mm-hmm. put a, I almost never put anybody over on social media. I'm a heel. I hate everyone. Mm-hmm. But John Roden, that's my dude. Mm-hmm. I love me some John Roden. Mm-hmm. We've gone we've gone to hell and back in matches. Why don't I you just tag with him then? Well, because he's wow. tagged with Bronco still some places, and you mm-hmm. know what? I think Bronco McBride's a discount Zach Hunter. Oh, well, I so, appreciate that. So if Bronco and John Roden won a good match. Come on, boys. I actually am a fan of Bronco. Oh, I've wanted to wrestle him for a while. I saw him one time, like uh, when I was still training. Jo- I went to a show with Josh Shields, mm-hmm. and I was like, I fucking like that dude. I want to work with that dude. I've never been on a show. Fucking with Battle of the Beard. Somebody booked I'm that. A, Man, uh-huh. I've known them since they started wrestling. Mm-hmm. It's Blue Collar Slaughterhouse yes. with Fat John Roden. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, fat John Roden was on that show. Mm-hmm. I remember I've that. Known him for a long Man, time. That, Man. See, that was a, that was a good match. Uh, me Five and Jacob wrestling. Edwin wrestled Bronco and Roden in a match for uh, RWA probably like a, year, a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, we that was a good match. Mm-hmm. I had fun. That was probably my favorite tag <laughs> match until me and Zach with the Barikwa Boys at Route Thirty Three Wrestling a couple I think months ago. That match is probably also on IndieWrestling dot Network yeah. or the so, or the YouTube page or the VOD. Either way, we got IndieWrestling dot US. Yeah. Go look that up. Look up Bronco and Noctis and see where they uh, they collided. Also, just uh, launched this week, 
Uh, this week, the end of last week, I think we put it up. Refs with Rigatoni yes. has been launched. We should do tag teams with tacos. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to well, need a bigger it. table, though. Or, Not those tacos. Or, we're, right, or, we're right across the street, tacos. George. Yeah, we can literally go. go across the street. Get there you go. I just said not those tacos. Why not those tacos? <clears throat> I just prefer, not. Those yeah. tacos are delicious. I prefer, prefer like, like a Taco Bell or a homemade. The, what? Oh. So, so what are you? Oh, wait, homemade? What? It's a taco what? stand. All right, that's homemade. No, homemade. No, no, no I don't want geez. that shit. It's like authentic, man. I don't want authentic. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He's from that part of the country. What? What part of the country? Wow. Death. Ohio? West Virginia? Mwah. West Virginia. Good night, everybody. <laughs> right. I gotta take my headphones off. I'm deaf. Can you alright get... over there? Good grief. <laughs> I can turn you down. Yeah, I'm please. I'm going for Ronnie at one point just to have the headphones on the ears of the actual cop. That's well, then what he we won't, said. They won't actually be able That's to hear I, you. I mean, I could. I mean, I mean is Ronnie okay? Ronnie. I'm really hot. Do you have to pee? Speak into the top of the mic, sir. How deep are you into that the Speak into the tip of the mic. I need another beer. Okay. What about the tip of the mic? Uh, Into the tip of the mic. We Hi. Just a tip. There you go. Just a tip. Uh, Zach, can I get one? Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're starting now, boys. Second segment. We're going to make this happen. Yeah. I'm so excited. Do you need a koozie? Uh, do I need one? No, but do you need some rum to chase that beer? Are they? Wait, wait, is this? Oh, wait, wait, Zach Hunter came in. I have. Wait, one. wait what is this? I have one, and he has one. Wait, what is this? Uh, didn't he I give you one? So one one of these? I gave you one. Was this your old tag team? No, that was just twelve his... gauge. Not that was twelve gauge. Fully okay. <laughs> Fully that's Loaded a, was a show like a, that I'm pretty sure uh, AEW did. That's a tobacco-free oh. chew. No, Fully Loaded was a that show I, that I think that I, I, I got to like, enjoy wrestling. Somewhere around here. I definitely uh, did leave a Zach Hunter koozie here for you. Did you? Yeah, oh yeah. And if you don't it's have around. it, I'll be It's around upset. somewhere. I it's know somewhere. It's hiding because it we, does look good. We have an Enjoy Wrestling one, and I did find an old, fabulous John McChesney koozie. Mm. For that he gave us back in the day. So hashtag John that's, McChesney. That's some old hashtag wrestling. Hashtag not as cool as the Zach Hunter koozie. Ha- yeah, hashtag whatever. for when you're drinking Miller High Life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got the Miller Light going on right now. So the 16 ounce Ooh, cans. Anyway, so are you guys ready to shame the Mayhemers? Shame. Oh yeah. 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 So shame. we like to do predictions. We'll do predictions for 2020 in wrestling here later in the show. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to try to do a quick rundown. I don't want to kind of point at every single one of these. But we'll just so kind of say whether you go. We need to call out every single person. We'll see. Well, okay, okay. Well, we're going to start with you, Mad Mike. These were your predictions for uh, 2019. Awesome. I can't wait to see how smart I was. Okay, here you go. <laughs> uh, first of all, Brock Lesnar will be UFC and WWE champion. Totally That's wrong. True. Uh, uh, he no, wasn't UFC champion this year. No, oh, no, he, he was wasn't. not okay. the champion this year. No, no. He was, he was not. Never, all right, half a point. That that could have been over. That, that was not a bad prediction, though. No, no, because that should have no, happened. It was looking were, like it. That match should have happened. Yeah. They were reeling it in. A I'll take lot. half a point from that. I want to be the bad okay, motherfucker okay. champion. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking ridiculous yeah. is yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the bad motherfucker around, champion. That's the BMF the meme, title, man. That's what's that mic going around by Jericho saying who else could have been champion in 2009, 2019? Yeah. Brock, Brock fucking Lesnar. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number two, Pentagon will be NXT champion. God, <laughs> I <wish. laughs> uh, I I that happen. Uh, sometime during 2019, we will see the match between David Arquette and Stephen Amell. Yes. Did we? I don't think that no, happened. That no, did not no, happen. that didn't happen. No, no. Had a chance. We could see it happen. He though. could. He's done with Arrow now. Yeah. yeah. He is. Yeah. He's going to wrestle more. I don't, I don't know how many shots Arquette has for the rest of the year. No. <laughs> There's only a couple days left. And he's getting up, popped up on, back, on backstage, too. Uh, all right. Here's my turn. Uh, WWE will not go back to the Middle East, but will do a super show in another country. Well, good I, job, Sorg. I told job. you last year that that was wrong. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the amount of blood money coming in WWE is no, way too much to not go back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, half the two, roster isn't going next time. But no. the elite promotion will not have television, but will still be an ROH competitor by the end of 2019. Will <laughs> nice not <try>. have television. <laughs> well, why would you think that? What was I thinking? Hey, What's wrong with you? Uh, no, they're going to wow. have TV. Well, wow. Technically, the Elite doesn't have television. All Elite does. Yeah. Well, if the, well we didn't know what it was going to be called at the time, okay? But they have TV, and I, I can't I, believe I, you would say they were I weren't. put the Elite and in parentheses all in, so this promotion that okay. was obviously right. going to happen, right? Well, to be, to be fair. All, in right now. all right, I fucked up again. To, to be fair, um, 
before Cornette, NWA was like doing a lot better than ROH. <laughs> that is true too. That After true. Cornette, NWA is still doing a lot better <laughs> than ROH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Okay, ROH very shit. Shit. Guess, guess what? ROH do. doesn't have Marty Skrull or Shane Taylor. <clears throat> Yeah, or or Kelly or Klein. A lot yeah. of people. I yeah, mean, they all leave him, brother. I hate to shit on ROH because I'm still ROH. a fan, but they I don't have like, 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 ROH. Like, they need tag I teams. Let's hey, keep ROH it down. The good guys. I love ROH, and there's a good discussion that we're having with uh, ROH's commentator Joe Dabrowski that's coming up next week um, with our decade in review uh, show that'll be popping up. But um, but it is like a lot of the people that I'm interested in, except for like, what Jonathan Gresham. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Matanza guy, uh, Jeff Cobb, Jeff Cobb guys yeah. like that. Yeah. Dragon Lee. Cobb. Yeah, I mean, oh, cool oh there, that's another one. Ha- shout out to Dan Moff. Good for Dan getting signed. Oh by yeah, oh, man, Dan. I, the only thing that made me upset was when me and Zach were talking about putting out this whole. You know, we we're like, oh, let's do a parody of the whole Cody and uh, everyone's list thing, and we just started throwing out a bunch of names. And the first one I said was like, I want to wrestle Santa Slaughter because I loved. <laughs> that team and i've had a chance to work out with sean and dan mm-hmm. and i was like mm-hmm. man i'd love to get in there he and then like a week later i'm like fuck <laughs> he like redebuted here in pittsburgh when they came yeah through, so in yeah. that tag team so no that, it, it was real he was real impressive um so i, I well i also said that the elite let's just say AEW promotion mm-hmm. will be part of the wwe network uh, nope. why would what uh, was wrong what? With i don't what know what like, how how, How far into the alcohol were you when you made these I predictions? Um, because you know, you should have been. No, no, I was sober last year. That's why you yeah, went wrong. Yeah, that's why I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry was here apparently, and he said Ronda Rousey will not be with WWE throughout 2019. He was absolutely right. Wow. That was correct because she had the, she had the impregnation vacation. Yeah, that I, I, I going to all because Ronda's coming back soon, baby. Did it go anywhere? Did she I get pregnant? I didn't, I didn't no, no, they didn't get pregnant. So she's. I don't. She's but there was a report that came out. She said she's gonna be coming back. She wants to come back soon. Uh, Larry, I also, like to know more about that than Larry that. Larry also know. thinks uh, the 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 elite. I guess that's what just, we were calling it then. Uh, promotion is BS, and they will be part of WWE. <laughs> well, they're not what? BS. No, 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 no. they're no. legit. <laughs> um, wait, is this all we had for actual predictions? Did we have nobody on the show last year? Last I don't year? think we had anybody. Wow, because now we also have uh, the Mayhem Show predictions for 2019. Mm-hmm. Uh, Larry said that Mad Mike will visit the studio in 2019. Um, unfortunately, no. um, life got in the way. Yeah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, well, for life. No, 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 no. Away. I, no. Trust me, I wanted to. There was some serious shit going on. All right, but I can, I, I can actually say, um, my mom is in remission. Hey, congratulations, so, congratulations, brother. Yes, I want to pull my yeah. beard on the clap. Yeah. There you go. So Good we'll see you in uh, 2020 her. then. Huh? That's know. right. Yeah. So uh, no, definitely 2020. It definitely happened. That's going to be another live good guy show. Mm-hmm. There you go. I was That's just going to. I was going to say, let's make it a day we're not here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mike's coming to the studio. Oh, man. Man. Don't I like you, Mike. Mike. <laughs> you seem like Fuck a good you, brother. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real heel. You're know. the drizzling <laughs> shits, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Only after Taco Bell. Give me a tryout mm. that I'm not going to show oh. up to. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They wouldn't take us anyway. Uh, short, short, chubby, and white. Good for TME, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy for good. those dudes. Yeah. I don't want a job. Thank there. you, Bobby. I just don't. Okay, anyway. What proceed. about in the mailroom? Right, you want continue. a mailroom job? I mean, no. No, no, no. Just... no, no. Anyways, back to uh, apparently uh, my predictions where there will be more impact discussion in 2019. <laughs> no, no there actually was. Not what? untrue. Not untrue. You know what? You're right. That's a point. Uh, Mad Mike will be unblocked by Impact's main account. Sorry about that. I couldn't you pull it off. You fucking asshole. Well, I, mean, I, I thought I was going to have. I mean, I could always DM somebody, I guess. Um, You've been saying this for months. You have not DM'd anyone. Listen, it's man. okay. They're not the Fed. No one cares. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> no, I just think, well, it, I think that it's hilarious. Exactly. Well, it, I think it's hilarious. I'm literally blocked by an entire wrestling. To be game. fair, my one con- my one contact that got me in with them uh, now works for WWE. So that is a fair point. That is yeah. a point. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Sanjay. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mad Mike will be one of Sor- will make one of Sorg's business relationships awkward in 2019. You know what? I did that all by myself. Yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple, didn't you? That, uh, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them. Yeah. Hey, listen, I did bad all by myself. Uh, Mad all Mike. Right, <laughs> Mad Mike says 
uh, that you will do something to get yourself reblocked by Impact in 2019. Let's to be fair. If I unblock, I would. That's a push. That. Yeah. I'm still blocked by them, so. That's, that's why I say that's a push. Yeah. Um, right, that's another half point for me. I'll take you, it. Half point, yeah. Uh, Sorks, uh, I, you said that I will have to. I will have to ask a luchador a question in Spanish during uh, 2019. No, not, this is the, this is the prediction I make every year because one of these times it's gonna happen. Time out. Zach's Cannot doing be. flippy shit now. Ask him something in Spanish. Yes. 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 Loophole, oh, baby. We're, we're going to Mexico, Mexico baby. I don't or have a mask, a, but head, somebody head, used to be a luchador. Head, head scissors. I used to be a luchador. Right, you right. don't need to wear a right. mask to Mike, be a Mike, give me something to ask him. Donde esta biblioteca? Donde esta biblioteca? I, I don't know what Okay. Yes. Por favor. There it is. There you go. There you go. Help it. Helping, helping them out. So you're, you're there, welcome. There are actually Everybody gets one. Two masked wrestlers that are sitting here today. Oh yeah, yeah. You were a masked wrestler. <laughs> yeah, that was right. a masked wrestler. Yeah, you were. Yeah. 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 Mike forgets he'll record my entire first two years in the business. Yeah, yeah. 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 Technically, I'm also a masked wrestler. Oh. Are you now? No. Uh, uh. All right. So, quick story. I'm ready. Are you questioning? Hurry up! I got. Hurry up! I got. When I worked with me years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, on our last day, mm-hmm. someone left a um, a foam WWE championship <laughs> that said WWE Loggers Championship, and he didn't take it with him on the last day. Mm-hmm. So I got the idea. I'm like, we should have a match for this title. <laughs> so we hung it in the uh, in the like little rafter things that we have there, and we had a makeshift ladder match. And I wore my delirious mask, and I am the current reigning, not defending, WWE Loggers champion. The longest reigning WWE Loggers. Longest reigning. So is that of the modern era? Uh, yes. So yes. Is, that, is it longer than yeah, Pete Dunne? Ironically, uh, the old times, it was George Hackenschmidt. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. How, how many days? Oh God, going on years now. So I, it, I have a real San Martino like rain. So can, should they put that on the network instead of Pete Dunne and CM Punk's? Mm. Um, you know, I defend it about as much as Lesnar did. So. <laughs> Hold on now, time out now. <laughs> Lesnar defended the universal title more times on television than Pete Dunne on TV, but Pete Dunne defended it in the Indies. So I mean, mm. yeah, you mm. I mean, I for one, I'm going to hold a title forever. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> yeah, so, I never just lost. like Rhino forever. Oh, no, the last ECW champion, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. and and also, um, uh, Big Zeke mm-hmm. was, yeah. was, was the, the other, last, was, was the other last ECW champion. champion. Yeah, he's got that big silver belt. All Ooh. right, rest of the predictions. Tina had predicted that WWE would do a live show from the West Coast. Uh, I know that yeah. we that WMS will. WMS. I oh. went to the West Coast. Yeah. I was on, I was in the audience on an eye pay per view for Rise with an Eye with Alex Cars. Half point. Half point. Yeah. Half point. Okay. Half point. So, not even. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> no that's not at all. We'll so, do a live do show. That? I was in the audience for a pay per view. There you go. <laughs> Can we also point out that there is a PWX on the uh, West Coast too? Yes, there is. No, I pointed that out several times. Um, <laughs> but much, much more liked PWX. Uh, Carlin's Larry will earn himself. So PWX on the East Larry will earn a life, life himself PWX a lifetime East? ban from Mayhem Mania. I did not. Um, I don't think. I, I, I'll I, get banned I, before you, man. That almost fine. happened. That almost happened. I think happened. that might be self-imposed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. He'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> Ty Cross. We'll be so daddy. He, would, he would Who visit the, the studio. He said Sorg. he would visit the studio in 2019, and, and he hasn't. And, man, Mike still doesn't know who he is. Sorg, I have no <laughs> idea who that fucker is. I don't know. I Just, think I saw him yesterday popping up in the chat room. Why am I not a top fan? Because I don't know who the fuck you are. Because you're not even a tag team champion like, anymore. That's a big day. I, I, know, I, know, I, saw him I was like, I don't know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just come to the studio, man. He has bring, yeah. bring the ducks. I think he's just system elite versus the good on. guys. Just saying. I mean, that would be cool. That would be a fun mm-hmm. match. Mm-hmm. That'd be a fun match. Bobby F. J. Town says a puppet will interview a wrestler for a WMS show. That did not happen. That did um, not happen. Sorg. Did it? Wait. Sorg. Well, we, we got the boss. Did it not? 
I mean, I'm in. Let's do it right I'm now. No, sure let's do it. The has asked some questions. Yeah, he has. We he got has. we got a re- two wrestlers and a manager, and we got a puppet. Let's do this right we now. We also have a Krampus. <laughs> we have a Krampus. We do have a Krampus. It's Krampus. Let's knock it off the bucket list right now. All right, get old Vincey uh, on us and ask us a question. <laughs> Oh, he's putting okay. on, he's putting oh, on the oh. puppet. Put on the boss. He's, he's putting his hand up the boss's ass. What the fuck makes you the good guys? Well, first of all, because we're better than all of your good guys. Oh, Whoa. Oh, it's true. <laughs> and fair. Wow, and, it got really. Deep. And Bobby gets that one. All right. <laughs> I'm never getting. Alex Miller <laughs> says the sword will get, get hit in the nuts. I. Yeah. Stand up. We Stand up. Oh, oh, no, I'll no, kick no, you no, in the no, goddamn no, nuts no, right no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. Sit down. He's, not even up yet. He's not even standing. Sit down. <laughs> we could do it though. Yeah. Krampus is all in. Krampus. Ralphie, all get in. your BB gun. Where's the uh, Where's the Krampus ball at? The Krampus ball? Oh, it's a. Uh, it's up there. Is yeah. It? I kind of found out who gave that to us. So you legit thought I gave it to you? I have no. no I have no idea who gave it to us. You don't know yet. No, I I kind of found out. It's it's uh it's above my desk up there above the big Apple monitor, so he's going for a walk right now. <laughs> just the bunny walking around the studio, top of top just shelf, just like AEW, top shelf by the poop. Hey, you, listen, one of those bunnies has a fat ass, and one has a much larger asset somewhere else. What? What? I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Yeah, I I you, no one ever accused Ali or Cherry Bomb of having a fat ass. First yep, there, you go, there you go. There you go. That is very true. Oh, right. Did you open it up yet? No, uh, yeah, I did. I just, I just, did. I'm afraid it's just going to roll around if no, I don't have it in the fine. box. No, so really I mean, fun. it's. I have one too. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she. That's nice. It's All like right, quite a workshop. It's actually really nice. Yeah. Was that like Amazon Prime? I think it was Amazon. Yeah. So I'm just like they keep selling out. Like, really? They try to get another one, and they like don't have them in stock. Really? Yeah. That's so fine. everybody likes Krampus. So Who th- doesn't like Krampus? So thank, thank you, Secret Bradley. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, Bradley, I, send me one too, man. What the shit? <laughs> I wish I had saw previews for Krampus and who the actors were, and I saw that movie. Mm-hmm. I would have went in with much different expectations. Because when I realized who the cast was like 10 minutes in, yeah. and when they went fishing for the fat kid, yeah. I literally out loud, I said, they fished the fat kid up the chimney. I was so mad mm-hmm. because I was like waiting for this awesome horror movie and kids get eaten, destroyed because fuck those little bastards. It was meant to be a comedy, dude. I know it was, but I didn't know that when I went to see it. It's the same <laughs> people who made Trick or Treat. But I didn't mm-hmm. know that mm-hmm. until after the movie So Trick started. or Treat's actually kind of a comedy thing? It is. I've never seen it. Yeah, I, the only, the only thing I know about are the references from the Scarehouse, and then the, I've, and then, I will, and I will then let sca- you borrow. Okay, tree. <laughs> and no, that is like a sin. And then Scarehouse did the uh, Krampus uh, thing that one year. Krampus with everything. Yeah, they did. They Sp- did it speaking, with like, all the props and stuff. Speaking of Krampus, uh, I have a uh, I have a goal in mind on Friday. Okay, that I'm going to, in somehow, shape, or form, sneak into the basement to kneel before Krampus. So uh, <laughs> it's it's going to happen. I think uh, I have a feeling you can just ask. I think they're going to let me. I think they're going to let you. Yeah. I think we got we got we got a secret date. In yeah, the, uh, we got we got. Uh, it doesn't involve a. I don't know. Maybe it does involve a bounty outfit. I don't know. I can wear the. Oh. <laughs> I'll bring. Um, I'll get my. That would be a kidding. Great picture, really well, actually. Yeah. Of the bunny before anyways, no, but, but yeah, we can't. Yeah, okay. Stuff, uh, anyways, yeah. hey, I want to give a stuff. shout out before I get myself in trouble. Hi, Bradley. Because I think somebody's out there watching. Um, our friends at Slice on Broadway support mm-hmm. Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for much of this past decade. I don't know. Is there any left back there? I'll let you know. I'm, <laughs> you'll let you know. He's on, <laughs> he's on a scouting mission. He's on a scouting Bring mission. Bring it to today. me. Bring our it to me. I'm friends, hungry. Slice on Broadway supporting us for me, most Ronald. of the decade here in Pittsburgh. Of course, if uh, you are somewhere else, because a lot of you guys in the chat room are, Ronald. please take a picture of Broadway Ronald. Avenue in your town and say, I want to slice on my Broadway to PGH underscore uh, <laughs> underscore slice on the Twitter and get that slice on right there. There you go. Give that central pepperoni a taste, Zach. There you go. Slice on Broadway. It's cold, but it's pretty good. SliceonBroadway.com. Slice on your Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie, for that. I don't know if anybody heard you for that. but <laughs> You're not on mic, but um, go check them out. Thank you, them, for supporting the show. Hey, you're going to hear from Dutters for a moment. We'll be right back with the big question of the year. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. 
Oh, I mean, so not if you think about it, if That's by fair. threatening me in about what seven years, you'll be Raw Tag Team Champion. You know what? That is not what I want on my career. But Zach, please be nice. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to get beat by a team that hasn't won a match in two years on TV. Who am I being nice to? Be, be nice to Mad Mike. I don't want to be Raw, Raw Tag Team Champion. Does he know Ray Ro? He just he said he was threatened Ray by Ray Rowe. I wasn't listening. Anyway, yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh. Although, shout out to the OC getting them wins, baby. Yeah, I mean, the, oh, the and they the and they pin they got the win next week too on the tape show. Are you talking about TLC? No, we're talking. Well, yes, but we're also talking about Raw I and watched, next week's Raw. I watched Into the Fire instead of TLC. I didn't watch either. I played Madden instead. I'm not even fucking with you. I paid wasn't 20, even. I paid twenty five dollars. That was twenty five dollars for that. Yeah. Okay. I, I was worth it. TLC because it makes my job easier. You know what I'm saying? WLC? Yep. Oh, God. I wish I was watching WLC instead. Is your account free? <laughs> um, Not yet. What, what? do you mean? What? Not what? yet. What? Yes. You're the because one I, wow. I, Well, no. I'm technically, technically a contracted. Uh, uh, what? Are you employee. an independent contractor? Yes. Oh, yeah. That shit on YouTube? Technically, yeah. So you don't have health benefits either? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, don't get hurt. I mean, not not through them. Don't get hurt, brother. Are we supposed to be talking about this? <laughs> we're Sucks. we're not we're not we're not recording. Uh, so. Well, not for <sighs> that I'll use anywhere. Oh, but. Please, it, it's <laughs> Tina, Bobby, and Dave. They all know where I fucking work. <laughs> he works for the Fed. <laughs> yeah, I work, I work well, for the, Fed. the best part. Speaking the, of speaking of Feds, I'm starting E Fed. With a real ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, have an E-Fed. Kind of have people play from inside the ring on like a big screen TV. Did that guy, did that guy, did that guy just flip you off or wave at no, you from outside? No, he flipped me off. Yeah, fuck you too, asshole. Did he, wait, did he seriously flip hey, you yeah, off? Did. Go, I'll go outside and stab fuck? him. You want to go out there and be like, what's your fucking problem, man? Listen, I'll, cho- well, yeah, I'll, I'll straight I'll Daniel Bryan that motherfucker yeah. chuck out my tie. I still have roids in my system, pal. I'll fuck you <laughs> up. <laughs> You think it's a game? You yeah. think it's a fucking game? Ronnie is making friends in the it's neighborhood, and we are back in the Wrestling Mayhem show. I was eyeballing them. The good, guys, <laughs> the good guys are here. Good guys! Good guys. Yay. So we're not Make, getting booked ever again. No, no. Yeah, we, well, not in Beachview. RWA, for sure. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see I what happens. For sure, but... So it is time for... 90%. The big question. Well, before big we question? get into our predictions, we're still looking back at 2019, and I wanted to ask you guys out there in the chat room, please chime in as well. Can, can we take a real quick timeout? What, what, what on, you want to take the timeout? On, on another really big question. What, what? Do I want rum or beer for my next drink? Uh, yes. Uh, you want rum. Yes. You want rum, and you want to pass one of those over this way. You want a beer because okay. yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want you know what? to um, take this home. Sorg, I'm don't worry, I have more of that. Go run and Thank get you. beer quick. I'll be right back. Let's get the beer. Wait, do I need to restart the show? Do I need to? Do, do, no, I, I was talking. No, 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 right, right. Please start with your finger so it's not just rum on top. We're good over here. We're good over here. There we go. This is what's happening. Okay, oh, start with your finger. What is happening? No, there's more egg dog. There's, there's more egg dog. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, the big question. Big question. I'm asking of you guys is Fuck. who, and this can go across the board, and, I, and good guys I know is the obvious answer. Well, yes. Uh, but tell me, and votes are for rum in the um, in the chat room. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Thank you, chat room. Who had the best 2019? I mean. <laughs> not Zach. Other than the good guys. Other than the good, Other than guys. good guys. Other than the good guys for any of you individually. Okay. <clears throat> NWA. NWA? Yeah. I'm going to go last. NWA. Wait, wait, wait. No, Zach, Zach tell, me, tell me why the NWA. First, tell of, us all, again. first of all, Joe Cephas. Joe Cephas. <laughs> <laughs> He's back on TV. I'm loving it. Okay. All right. It's just, it's just great. I mm-hmm. don't care. It's Joe the best wrestling show, Cephas. period. Okay. Period. I love it. Except that it doesn't have us on it, but. Sooner yet. or later. Sooner yes. or later. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you put that yeah. submission in for Circle Squared, right? We yes. did. We yes, we did. did. Mm-hmm. Dave Lagana hit us I, up, bro. There was Dave Lagana. Hey, friend of the show, Dave Lagana. Ta- I can vouch for these guys. Tag him. Tag him? Tag him. We're getting booked. Tag him. Speaking of tagging. Mm-hmm. No, anyway, proceed. Uh, I, I'll go last because I do. Okay. All right. Ronnie, I'll see what everybody else Ronnie, says. do you have an answer for this? <laughs> wow. Okay. Let, 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 I mean, let's be honest. I don't really watch much wrestling anymore. It doesn't have to be like it could be the Indies. It could be no. somebody like who who you in know, your mind had the biggest 2019. I mean, in all honesty, you know, MT Osha kind of had a pretty fucking decent year. Mm-hmm. You know, we 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 had the the uh, the Triforce titles mm-hmm. forever. No, didn't, you didn't Wait beat me for literally forever. Just saying. But uh, I have a new tag team now, so that's cool. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, are you like a much more talented tag team? Yeah. 
Okay, that's better. Okay, that, do, that's a lot better do, now. Do you have one that's not yourself? Because that is your team. <clears throat> um, hmm. Who's doing it? Well, the main event's doing a good job. There you go. They, they, they had a pretty strong year. Oh, they have a everywhere this year. They've yeah. had tag titles in every place they've been. So, good for them. And hopefully the whole Fed thing works out for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... Tony Johnson finished out strong this year. That's right. Yeah, he New did. Rise Grand Champion. Yeah, good mm-hmm. for him. I like Tony. Tony's I'll, really good. We'll take credit for that. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> yeah. He also he also was in a cage match with you guys. So. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, you're welcome, Tony. Before the good guy storyline, Tony Johnson had nothing going on. Jeez, man. And then What's out the of nowhere, bump? Tony Johnson wrestling Gregory. Let's not, for, let me, let, let's not, Rise Grand let's not forget his month as a uh, as a uh, TJ Cool. Taking on PB Smooth. I'm just saying. You know, mm-hmm. What about Ice Johnson? Machine? He was Ice Machine. He was, I, what, 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 is it, what? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. I, I mean, I didn't see Tony Johnson or Ice Machine in the same place at the same time. So they, they well, may and or may never, not be the same guy. And you never saw Super Loco, Hot Coco, or Ronnie Starks in the same place. So what's <laughs> no, your no, point? no, no, no. Just saying. Wait, never are we, are we Pentagon Jr. Or Zach Hunter in the same place either. Either. I'm convinced you are Pentagon Jr. <laughs> <laughs> wait, are you Pentagon Junior? Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, a minute. No, time no. out. Time wait, out. Wait, that's no, why you no. hold on. Wait, that's I, why you hate Mad Mike because he interviewed you one time. I am oh, a little Mad taller, a little beefier, a little no better at the destroyer. That's it. Lifts in the shoes, but wow. If, uh, if anybody's wondering, I did pre-order the Juice and Thunder Lager. Uh, Figure. If, oh, yeah. hey, <laughs> if, if anybody out there wants to get knocked as a present for Christmas, the Juice and Thunder Liger figure is probably up on there. Dude, if so anyone out there wants to get Zach out. Hunter a Christmas present, I collect Green Lantern action figures. And I, and I bought him a Green Lantern. <laughs> he did. Show, hold on, hold on. I have a show it on the Camara. Who's yeah. your favorite Green Lantern? I actually I don't have a favorite. I love them all. Yeah, That's a that. cop out. It's not a cop out. Mm-hmm. I legitimately don't. In his defense, he really does. Like I've never. I just had love. Just go, I like this one. Okay. I mean, right, wait, 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 I mean. All right, hold on. Time he, out. He bought Time out. Nice. If I had to choose for for like the most minimal of reasons, Guy Gardner, just because he's a ginger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I got a question for you. Side big question. Go. Which Green Lantern had the had the best twenty nineteen? Jeez. Oh man. Ryan Reynolds because Deadpool too. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and uh, no, oh, and Pikachu. How? Because he got that fucking power gauntlet. I haven't even been keeping up with the comics. I had to fucking go on the internet to find out about that thing. Mm-hmm. I want one. It's because I've been trying are- to think of a way to make one. You can. I'll help you with that shit. I'm like, I could buy an Infinity Gauntlet and paint it and shit. I don't know how. Like, I don't even know where to start there. You you to- to. Dude, I'll help you. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're gonna make one. Yeah. Awesome. You should see my Green Lantern collection. I'll it's take a impressive. picture. It's nice. pretty solid. Wait, hold on. Sorg, are we talking about people of power gauntlets? No, no we're not no, talking no, about that no. way. No. Yeah, that that one. As much as I love those movies, like I'm a I'm a DC guy. No, I mean no, are are we are we really no, he's turning it on. Oh, I got it on. He turned it on. Hey. He turned on the gauntlet. That's that what fed money gets your brother. Yeah. What that shows me. <laughs> That's that fed money. <laughs> what that shows me is that, you spent hundred yeah. hundred dollars uh, on it. That gauntlet's not going to make your dick any bigger. Folks you know? on you, I didn't buy it. <laughs> that was uh, another part of the. the somebody spent a hundred dollars on fucking garbage. <laughs> oh, Mad Mike, who had the best twenty nineteen? <laughs> oh, good God. guess. Um, shit. Best twenty nineteen. It, it's hard because there are some people who have really good stretches and then have either weren't really used before then or after then. Cause I'd say Becky Lynch, but yeah. ever since WrestleMania, like mm-hmm. she hasn't really, you know, been to the fold a lot. Um, so Travis Brown, I'll say, I'll say Bray Wyatt actually. Wow. I, no, I don't, I don't hate that answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say Bray Wyatt. I don't answer at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Bray Wyatt. That that to me, like, he completely reinvented himself. I don't know if I necessarily like where it's going based on what happened with TLC. Mm-hmm. Um, Wouldn't but, know I watched Into the Fire instead. <laughs> that, <laughs> no, <that's fine. laughs> I, honestly, the only thing you need to watch from TLC is the New Day match, the Aleister Black match, and Bray Wyatt's entrance. I heard that Aleister Black I match heard that match. Was solid. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. putting it over. That means I know it's not that good. Mm. Uh, I think I think you would like it. It's a lot the of punching Black, and kicking. It's yeah, out, but there's it, a difference you, between striking it, and punching and kicking. No, like, I, I, straight like striking it. is just like you're letting the guy hit you. It's not a fight. Mm. Just saying. It, it, as long not as that it's not good. I don't know. I didn't watch it. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Jerry. Oh, by the way, uh, sword. I'll, I'll save it for the end. Are we going to rant Jerry Lawler? On Jerry Lawler. Oh no. 
Oh no! Well, yeah, the I Riz? know exactly your point. The Riz. It, yes. Well, who had the best yes. 2019? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> I I honestly think that 2019 was the social media aspect. Okay. You got Orange Cassidy who blossomed. Mm. I and, thought for and, sure this guy was going to put us over. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, just wait. Shame. Just wait. Yeah, let it go, let it go. You let have go. the good guys wait. expertly using Facebook. Wait. <laughs> Don't spoil the ending, please. Oh, I'll say. Uh, you got you got Orange Cassidy, who's now doing big things in AEW. Uh, and then once he left, you, guys like uh, Warhorse, Anhausen, RJ City, uh, the good guys, they're all coming yes, up yes. through the social media aspect and making indie wrestling fun. Mm-hmm. Making it cool, making like Warhausen's having a block party or something on WrestleMania weekend. Uh, RJ and David Arquette are having a ball drop and rose party, <laughs> like December thirty first and and January first. Like it's it's all the all this is snowballing because of guys like Joey Ryan, mm-hmm. uh, Orange mm-hmm. Cassidy, and stuff like. that people like that you mean all those guys killing the business <clears throat> yeah all those guys killing the business. of course yeah they're killing it mm-hmm. they're killing it in the mm-hmm. business mm-hmm. just like the good guys shout out for the meme machine keith lee mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah 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 not a um so, all right sorg who's had the best 2019 not, i have two I have two answers for you. Zach Hunter, Brent Nox. And I can't believe (laughs) There it is. Uh, So I have two, and and I'm amazed none of these got said in the uh, chat room, although very good answers in the chat room I'll get to in a moment. Uh, First of all, Kofi Kingston. Yeah. Yeah. See, the only reason I didn't say Kofi was because... Well, actually, he held it so he hit the heights. He held it, he dude. Held he hit the heights. Time. Yeah, he held it for he all. Really green. Mania, Mania through after SummerSlam, I believe. Right. Mm-hmm. He held it till October fourth. That was yeah. the first uh, SmackDown on Fox. So, so yeah, like Kofi was the face. It was a big thing. It was like and and to watch social media and people's reactions in the crowd. Like, that was that touched so many people. Yeah. Did you see yeah. the WWE twenty four where he went to Ghana? I did. I think I did. Yeah. I yeah. Is recommends if you have not seen it, mm-hmm. it will make you cry. This, it, it That's was... not a joke. Like it will absolutely make you cry if you care anything about like, mm-hmm. like if you know anything about like the history of African American African American wrestlers in WWE. Yes. Like it's beautiful it's simply just a beautiful thing and, and on that and now they started the podcast and are talking about like kind of the road to where they got to and and again it's 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 kind of seeing like you know if you're you know a bunch of white dudes watching wrestling like us you know they, they get the context of how important that was that they got to that point um so very 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 big year for him very big year i was going to just say cody rose but i guess cody and the bucks mm-hmm. Because yeah. either way, no matter what you think about the state of AEW and stuff, like, yeah, they fucking did it. They fucking did it. They <laughs> they 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 did they, it they did it. And Bonnie. and even if you don't like AEW for whatever reason, they are doing something. However, alas, whatever happens with this, what this looks like in twenty twenty, who knows? But it was the hottest thing everybody's talking about. I'm seeing AEW stuff at indie shows all over the place. There are and AEW billboards in Times Square. Exactly. Yeah. Like like they got TNT behind them full force. They're they're not putting five hundred people in a small arena half filled shooting mm. television like Ring of Honor's done for years. <laughs> like they are putting like near ten thousand people in some of these venues and still are to a point. Um putting you know five, six thousand, whatever the case may be. You know, they're beating most <clears throat> of Impact's history at this point, right? Um, for their weekly show. Yeah. That's impressive. They're doing it their way, whether you like it or not. Again, you know, kind of that argument for fun. That's a personal preference. Yeah, exactly. But there's plenty of people that like it, and now those people are activated. And it's it's and and good for them. You want some activated people real quick. Oh, Nexus? Wednesdays. 
1.5 million people are watching wrestling on Wednesday nights mm -hmm. between the two products. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't include DVR numbers. Mm -hmm. Like, that's... Or maybe even the West Coast. That's out of nowhere. Like, no one could have predicted 1.5 million people between the two. No. Even TNT no. said, we expect 500,000... But 750 to 800,000... So even seeing 100,000, oh, they tied with NXT or whatever. But TNT's still fucking happy. Oh, they're yeah. killing it. Mm-hmm. We're not, yeah, gonna that's not even mentioning like how many people probably download the TNT app, mm -hmm. watch yep. it because they can't watch it live. Yeah, and then in in uh, on Sky TV and in, and in Britain, like on I, ITV, like they're like it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. The numbers are out of this world. Mm -hmm. Like they they might be doing numbers that they not even might they are doing numbers that are comparable in reality to Mondays and Mondays and Tuesdays, Fridays. or Fridays rather. Yeah, now. yeah. Like yeah. that's. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and not for nothing, it's also given us real competition because NXT is also routinely crushing it on Wednesday. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, you, can, you can tell there's palpable competition. Like it feels like Raw versus Nitro, except yeah. both shows are really good if you like what they put out. Mm -hmm. Actively trying. I mean, it's it's out there. I'll say it. My, tomorrow night, opening NXT is Finn Balor and Adam Cole. Who yeah. would have thought five Commercial years ago, free. Adam Cole and Prince Devitt? <laughs> like, <laughs> who the fuck would have said that's going to happen uh, in the uh, WWE? Uh, he probably did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we, we probably a, did. A few, a few weeks ago, we had Walter and uh, uh, Kushida. Yes, Kushida. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We had, how? Yeah. How? How? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's 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 crazy to believe what's going on now, and like, in in reality, wrestling is wrestling is a better place now as a whole than I think it was in the Attitude Era. Mm -hmm. Financially, yeah. like the the numbers are not there, but financially and the and how big of a deal it is to people, mm -hmm. like people that aren't wrestling fans, like know these people now. Yeah, like, yeah. Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, you know, Becky AJ Lynch. Styles. These guys are on, like, everyone knows who Hulk Hogan is. Mm -hmm. But now everyone knows who the Bullet Club is. Everyone knows who the Elite are. Mm -hmm. like, everyone knows these people. And wrestling's not as popular as it was 20 years ago. Fuck I mean, right off. And, and soon people are going to know who the good guys are. You're goddamn right. right. This man right here. This guy's looking for. This guy's. This guy's looking to be. Send a good that guy. guy a shirt. Right here. This guy's. <laughs> shirt. Merch, what size shirt do you wear? XL. XL. Mad the Mike. Go, the Mad good Mike, brother you... price is twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> we we do charge the good brothers more. But it's fine. That's, that's a fact. We've actually made wrestlers and and managers pay more for our shirts than managers because we're dickheads. <laughs> but uh, so is it my turn for? Who said the best 2019? Did you, that, I thought you already said. I, no, you? I didn't. I went last. Oh, yeah, that's right. You wanted to go, so last. Wanted to go last. I have two and a half answers. If I can. Two and a half. You'll see. Yeah, you'll see. That's you'll that's you'll see. That's you'll that's see. That's so my first two answers first is Kota Ibushi, mm -hmm. who oh. signed a lifetime contract in New Japan. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Did he, he really? <laughs> yes. That's retarded. Yes. He signed a lifetime contract in New Japan after Omega left and, and the Elite left. So... That dude's Jesus. getting paid a lot of money for the rest of his life to never have to leave Japan. Like if you and and but he has it, it's one of those ones where he can get out if he wants to, but he doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. He already said no to the Fed when he did Crusader Classic the first time. Yeah. My second answer is Will Ospreay, because Omega leaving. What has he done? Oh, oh by the way, Tina Osprey. Key, Tina Keys. Tina Keys was with you. Hers is also Will Ospreay. I'll tell you what Will Ospreay has done. So aside from getting shot out by Seth Rollins and gaining even more of a following, mm -hmm. becoming the first junior heavyweight champion to compete in the G1 Climax, put on matches that some have said have been the best match of the decade, and, and they have been traditional matches, not just New Japan, you know, keep fighting, no selling bullshit. Like, he's put on great matches this year, and he's told compelling stories and changed his style from just being an aerialist and doing acrobatics to making it a mat based striking st style of wrestling and has made himself believable putting on like 20 pounds like he's as big as Okada he's mm. physically as big as Kazusuke Okada and is putting on matches that are probably better this year now my last one if I can shamelessly plug my off my offspring 
Can I, Mike? Is that okay with you? Your offspring? My daughter. Okay. Isabella, come here. Come here. Oh, You're going to oh, put your happening. daughter over I'll put my daughter over. Here, here, here. 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 Put my daughter over. Come here. here. Come here. sit down with me. Sit by the case of beer. Come sit down right here. Yeah, sit by the case of beer. Pull one in your hand. Sit by the case of beer. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Get out of here. No, no, no. Okay. This is my daughter, Isabella. Okay. Okay. So my daughter decided this just she wanted to finally start playing sports. Okay. She chose amateur wrestling. First of all, she went out there, and even though she was scared, busted her ass, and she's been working harder than any other kid in her wrestling team. And that's coming from her head coach. And now, secondly, they did a kind of like a toy drive and whatnot, Mm -hmm. where it's like almost like a secret center where you can put pick names off a tree and whatnot and send in donations to gifts for kids in need. She took eight different kids and we went ahead and donated kids that are in need and have their families are having a hard time. And that was all her. I told her, grab a couple. She said, dad, I grabbed a couple more than a few and brought up eight different kids. And so this year, you know, she's shown that she's on the verge of being a little humanitarian. And honestly, is more than I ever would have done. I don't, I don't, I can, I can't stand people. I don't care about them, <laughs> but she does. <laughs> and so that's all directly because of the raising she's had from my family, my father before he passed, my grandmother. So, baby girl, you're, you've had the best 2019, in my opinion. That's just me. Oh. All right, get out of here. Get back to playing on your phone. Now we got to put over ourselves. So. All right. All right. That was great. Now back to the drinking nice. and swearing. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Fuck it. Good guy. Hey, get the fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So all of you out there in, in mayhem land. Should have put kid, the beer in her hand. Just my kid's better nights. than yours. <laughs> All right, uh, Tina will fight you for that one, probably. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I told a woman to Black Diamond show, I'll punch you too. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, what do we got here in the chat room? Uh, let's see, there was a vote for Run Rum. Uh, Bobby, Bobby FG Town said Adam Cole had, had the best year. Uh, Tina saying AEW, Becky Lynch, Adam Cole, Undisputed Era. Uh, Ponder says Jericho. Yeah, that's not a bad answer. I am uh, not a bad answer. Now, partial biggest fan of Jer- Jericho for a while, um, and uh, it, it and once again reinvented himself. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. And uh, I, I, I mean, look, okay, look, okay, hold listen, on, time listen, out. It time may out. not be your favorite version no, no, of time Jericho, out. but time out. I'm a huge Chris Jericho fan. Yeah. To say he reinvented himself? No, he's just being Jericho. <laughs> I, I think yeah, it's kind of like I, a combination of all. I'm not of his saying it's not awesome and hilarious. Yeah, yeah. because the uh, whatever the coronation of his whatever the yeah, last yeah. Come like, on. segment he made you was give a fucking shit. hilarious. Yeah. Soul Train Jones. But to say he reinvented himself? No, you're just being Jericho. I, I think he point. took the best of all of Jericho. Yeah, at this point you're okay. just being Jericho. Right. I think That's he not really stopped. reinventing yourself. What's that, Mike? I think he just stopped inventing himself. <laughs> yeah, he just, he's no, just being him. No, I'm serious. Like, no, yeah, like, at this point, like, you're just Jericho. You can expect anything like, from him, so it's not really reinventing. By yeah. the way, back up a second. Tina says, I will fight you. Fuck Tina. No, no, do it. Is. Tina. Um, do it. You I, may I, not have I met Tina, Tina before? Tina's do I know uh, Tina? No, she's in Seattle. Um, okay. Tina, 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 yeah, you're, you're come, Tina, come to the come to the East Coast, okay? It rains more, but the people aren't nearly as high end on coffee. Uh, and <laughs> I mean, we're here, so that's and good. Yes, we are here. And good guys. Uh, you seem like a nice person. You talk every time we're on the show. Ooh. But I've said this. I'm a I'm an army vet. I will never punch a woman, but I'll fuck someone up. They take a shot at me. <laughs> she, I'm she, not an army vet, but I'll <laughs> kick oh, you in on. the twat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Mike, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Next year, Tina needs to come to Pittsburgh so we can have our own WMS tribute to the troops. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm all in for that. Good, good guys are in for that. I, was, I didn't agree to that, but okay. All right, Zach, Zach Tina, really hates me, the soldiers, so. Correct me if I'm wrong, I Tina. just You are a Navy vet. I don't hate soldiers. I just like. Hold on, hold on. What's that, Mike? Oh, God. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Tina's a Navy vet. Oh. So is my dad. I don't give a didn't shit. did we have this discussion last time no, you were go, here? Go Navy, beat Navy. Army. That's what I'm saying. Your Navy <laughs> does beat Army most time, but I mean, if and I have my hand in it. Last weekend in college football. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You leave DJ Z's gimmick out of this. There's whoa. no air horns in here. You calm down right now. Hey, hey. I'm sorry. Joaquin hey, Wilde. DJ Z also yeah. didn't shake my hand on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm getting at is anyone who matters doesn't give a fuck about Zach. 
That's what I'm I mean, granted, I'm that, short that's and fat. Okay. Like, that's okay. Like, but that dude's the same height as me. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Shoot who I am, bro. Holy Tina fuck. Tina does say, bring it. I'm a Navy vet. So My dad's a Navy here. vet, Tina. I don't care. No, WMS, you're talking about me, is that? 2020. You're an army vet. I don't care. No. <laughs> we weren't talk- <laughs> she was talking. Never mind, Zach. I'm a big fan of Tina. Like, I appreciate you, but I don't suck the military's dick. No, like I think what she was saying was, country. never mind. Oh, oh this- moving on, moving on. Okay. Uh, hey, guys. Good segue. So you know what? Good segue. <laughs> There's a lot of wrestling. I'm not going to segue anything. Uh, wrestling. 2020. Yes, 2020. Sorry, Mike. Before we get to 2020, because I know that's your closeout for the year. Yes. Can I talk shit about Jerry Lawler? Sure. Absolutely. All right. Yes. You have the floor, sir. Fuck Jerry Lawler. Okay. According to Raven, best. Jerry Lawler is the best professional wrestler. <laughs> Fuck Look, him and his... And I trust that. Raven's opinion Listen, over man. yours. Let, let, let Mike talk. All right. Go ahead. Um, all right. I have long had this opinion that for a few exceptions, no one over 40 should be on televised wrestling. Okay. I've long had this opinion. Because, okay. Because fuck it. Don't watch fights this Jerry, Jerry Lawler. All right, time out. Time out. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. no. Let, time out. No, before you even get it out, you're going to tell me Terry Funk and ECW. I'm saying currently. No, no, no. You said anyone so Jerry, over 40 Jerry shouldn't Funk, be in re- on TV I said, wrestling. I said with in 2019. Few, I he didn't say, say with exceptions. He did say with a few exceptions, first all right, of all. All right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, currently, go ahead. currently, the few exceptions are like. Ray Mysterio, AJ Styles, R Truth, Jericho. Like there's there's a few guys that totally fine with. It's a little more I'm than fuck- a few. Dustin Rhodes. What's okay? It's a little anyway. more than a few. Right, anyway, anyway just Rhodes, um, Dustin Rhodes is totally fine. I'm talking about the people who are stuck in their ways, who are fucking assholes and refuse to change. Jerry Lawler on TLC, because he couldn't think of anything to say, and because he's a fucking boomer asshole. During the main event, said, Oh, I don't know, Kabuki Warrior 1 or Kabuki Warrior 2. Fuck you. Fuck you so hard in your fucking crown. I mean, I don't I don't understand that reference because I watched Into the Fire instead of two. The reference yeah. the reference well, you you, no. re- you watched a better it's way sounding worse thing than JR accidentally saying Orientals. This is the fucking women's tag team champions in your main event. Of the last pay per view of the 2000s. Holy shit, that match was the main event? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm so glad I watched Into the Fire. You mean, of, you mean of the DLC. 2010s? You mean of the 2010s? 2010s, excuse yes. me. But we lost a decade. Jerry Lawler needs to get the fuck away from a microphone. Someone tell me why that was the main event. Because, it, because there was the main was event last match year was match also match the women's it's, triple it's the, it was match the only title match on the show. Well, that's just look nothing against women's wrestling, absolutely nothing. They're all great. Doesn't mean they deserve to be in the main event just because they're women. It, no. it was a it was, I, a, it, it was a more compelling one. match than the rest oh, of the card. Was it really? It was. Yeah, I wouldn't know because I watched Into the Fire <laughs> instead of fucking hey, TLC. Then you should probably shut the fuck up. Zach. I paid twenty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no one's talking about NWA. We fucking was, should be because that show was great. Can you cut his mic top to bottom? Don't cut my fucking mic. That show was <laughs> great top to bottom. And I'm sure TLC was fucking trash for at least 75% of it. Maybe more. Anyway, back watch? to Mike. Back okay. To Mike. Okay. Back okay. To- no, no, no. 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 <laughs> I don't watch that. No. Are you just hijacking the show right now? I am. Okay. <laughs> no. Zach. Stop. Everybody oh stop. God. I need to get this out. If, <laughs> if I'm going to sit here as a lifelong wrestling fan and tell you, the end of the fire was top to fucking bottom great. And you're going to tell me more than 75% of TLC was fucking trash. Why didn't more people pay 25 fucking dollars to watch Into the Fire? Because unfortunately, because most people don't care about professional Well, most wrestling. people should go fuck themselves. Did you want an answer? You're going to keep talking. You no, want to know I'm why? Do you, you want to know why? No, listen. Because the, rise the reason the why guys. people aren't buying is they don't people. care about studio wrestling. It's unfortunate, but they don't. It's very Because the casual wrestling fan likes sports entertainment. I just punched Sports kick, entertainment, has been proven since about 2012, is fucking trash. Probably so not. But that's not the point. Can we let Mike bury Lawler? I like this. I like Jerry Lawler getting buried. I like Jerry Lawler. Well, I mean, you know, you. No one cares what you fucking like. Jerry Lawler doesn't know the product because the product fucking sucks. All he has to do is know two women's names. He has to know Oscar, who's been there for three years, and Kyrie Sane. He couldn't get. He's too busy fucking eighteen-year-old girls to watch Monday Night Raw. That's the point Mike's making. That's the point he's making. 
Good for Jerry that's, fucking Lawler. That's, that's what I'm saying. That that's what, thank you for making my point for me. Jerry Lawler is paid to know the product and can't even figure out the names of the fucking women's tag team champions. I can't hear you, dude. You're walking away. You're off mic. I don't know what's going on right now. Don't move that. It's going to get bad. Don't move that. It's going to get bad. <laughs> no, it's break it's against I don't even know what he's what are you doing. doing? Do I have to move the camera? Right now? What is happening right now? <laughs> are we still doing phrasing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he's standing up. He's making lewd zipping motions. I, he's not he on the mic. I, I have to break the ice after that <laughs> fucking shit. <Yeah. laughs> Christ. I just Holy want to shoot shit on Jerry Lawler. You don't agree. agree. You don't oh, agree. Oh, yeah, roll back. Roll back. Roll back. Ronnie, yes. what do you think? I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> I hate professional wrestling. I don't what? <laughs> but he loves the good guys, so fuck off. I just do it for the shits and giggles at this point. The shaggles, if you will. If oh, I was trying to get signed, I would have tried years ago. You got five. You got five years. I got five years. Five now. years, baby. I'm sure I could piss a few people off on Twitter for five years. Worth. See, he's not busy fucking eighteen year old girls. He pays attention to what's going on. <laughs> Who, Mike? No, wait, the other Rizzo. Guy. Rizzo. Rizzo. <laughs> Rizzo, Rizzo. Are you trying to wait, fuck eighteen year old girls, true. man? It's not true. He says. Time out. It's not I, true, I, man. Rizzo's fuck eighteen year old girls. If I it was true, he would have he would have forgot the fifty the five year thing. All right, Mike. Mike, what are you trying to say? I said that was also true. I don't fuck 18-year-old girls, and I pay attention to the product. I wasn't talking about you, was I? I was talking about the other hey, guy. Hey, you got paid in gauntlets and uh, Legos for your wife. So <laughs> can you, guess what? Someone's winning here, and it's not... I'm sorry. I take it back. My daughter I, had the second best 2019. Mad Mike had the best 2019. Hey, he got, hey, a, hey, got a gauntlet hey, and Legos. Yeah. And he didn't get a cow or money, but he got le- he got a $300 Lego set and $100. $400 ain't bad. You're doing yep. all right, Mike. Good job, Mike. Good Thank job. You. Congratulations, and he, Mike. And he got a fiance. I get some damn recognition on this. Show. And he got a fiance out of the deal. He, yeah. and, you know what? And, and, mo- and mom's in remission. I mean, you're, you got it. See? Everything. Yeah. And, and he looks like a discount Conrad Thompson. Fuck it. Oh. Boo! Oh. Happy New wow. Year, baby. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's, That's a turn. That's a downturn oh. from the American oh. Kevin Owens. <laughs> whoa, hey, time out. That man's a national treasure. He's in not, Canada. He's not that fat. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, he's whoa. talking about him, not him. No, no, yeah, he, no. he's the American Kevin Owens. I thought he yeah. was. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I've, I'm I've fat been Lewis. told by several guests on the show at several different times that I was the American Kevin Owens. Can you name names so I can bury them? Because we'll bury them. We don't care. Do I forget. It. It's been a while. It's that's while. how unimportant that's, they were. That's because you're paying attention like Jerry Lawler. <laughs> <laughs> You should watch NWA. How old is your fiance? Is she 18? At least. How old are you, Mad Mike? I'm I'm over 18. Okay, so his hand's over 18, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. What's happening? What is happening? All right, I'm I'm this deep into a 12 pack. (laughs) You fat fuck. I don't give a shit. (laughs) I'm a professional wrestler. You may work for the Fed, but I'm a professional wrestler. (laughs) I take bumps. Well, <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you think. I'll I tell take you that right bumps. now. He bumps. Fuck you. I take the bumps. <laughs> you, hey, you have one hell of a destroyer. Hey, I'm Mad Mike. Mad know. Mike, real quick. You know what the best part is? I'm not even really drunk. <laughs> no, he's just a dickhead. I'm not even. I'm just a dick. But we're the good guys, so love, fuck And I love he's you. looking directly into the monitor all the way over here. I know, the so camera's like, <laughs> Thing but is, I can see him, so it's like I caught you. You get I was it. Say, the best Mad Mike, right here, bro. Can he see me? I can't even. No, see him. he can't see Fuck. you. Hold on a second. Fuck. Here, look into this <laughs> webcam. Oh, no. Hold on, look into this webcam right here, Zach. Now you can look deeply into his eyes. Mad Mike. <laughs> Let me reiterate everything I just said. How many marks are watching right now? <laughs> Four. Four? It's Kayla one? Well, we're on other, other platforms too. All right, so. cool. Mad Mike. Yes. I'm a professional wrestler. Professional. <laughs> You may work for the Fed. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't care about your opinion. You know nothing. Whoa, damn. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, time out. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on. Whoa. Wait, you can't here. say it's facts because you cannot prove that he knows nothing about wrestling. You know, he knows just things. Just you're a you redhead can't... doesn't mean you can tell a All right. All right. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Time out. Time out. Time out. Maybe you know nothing is false. All right. I'll agree to that. But fuck you is not false. But fuck you is not false. (laughs) There you go, Mike. I'm a good guy and you're not. (laughs) That's a fact. That's a fact. However, if you pay $25 for a good guy's t-shirt, you can be one. Ronnie just left again. (laughs) (laughs) 
I have to pee because I've had this many beers. This box Holy is empty. Shit. <laughs> I still have rum, Zach. Oh, that's right. I have I, to drive home. Dude. I think I'm going to sleep so in the long. studio again. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we have another break schedule. No, this is the Am break. Am I over just, now? Because I told Matt Mike it. to go fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was somebody out there. If if telling me to go fuck yourself was a ban from the show, we'd never have any guests. <laughs> Personally, guys, like guys, we're looking at 2020. What are your predictions for fe- professional wrestling in 2020? Joe Cephas. Joe, wait, wait, Zach, <laughs> just jo- <laughs> Josephus. I don't continue- actually have anything. Josephus continues actually- jobbing on NWA. Yo, hey. oh. he was Santa Claus. Hey. Santa Claus man. What are you seeing? What are you seeing for 2020 for Josephus? I hope. I hope he does something. Why are those bananas so doing? brown? What are what you are doing? Holy fucking salmonella bananas! Time, oh, time I know. Those, look that's the these, banana bread. Oh, uh, put the, look at these goddamn banana bananas, bread. man! I, they're Jesus. fine on the inside. Christ. I just put them in the fridge. What Jesus, the banana they're, they're, they're fine. Where have, happens when you show where your have you been, bananas? I ate those today. They're fine. Where have you, you sick been? Fuck. <laughs> you sick fuck. Where have you put these bananas? In the fridge. That's what happens. That's what happens when you Lord, chill a banana. Bananas, yeah. chill bananas. Hey, go hold Zach's yeah. banana. I put everything in the fridge, and I wasn't thinking about Zach's it. Zach's gone. What a cunt. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> bananas in the fridge. Holy hell. All right, back to 2020. Noctis, what is your prediction for 2020? For about? wrestling as a whole or for the good guys? Uh, it, no, we'll do that later. Okay. Wrestling as a whole, then? hmm So, uh, Marty Scurll is going to bump the numbers of NWA to rate around 750000 a week. I think he's going to actually – they're going to absolutely crush it on social media and YouTube. Uh, 750 might be a stretch. And that's the YouTube views? Yeah. I think they're going to crush it. Um, and I then think uh, before summer, Skrull's going to AEW. Yeah, I'll give it. yeah I think he's going to be there. I, he pro- I don't think he signed a contract with the NWA. He's there strictly for the bump in numbers. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to show that anybody can he's be there. He's doing a favor. He's yeah, doing a favor to he's Ligana. Doing that. He's doing a favor to Lagana. Yeah, and I think Ooh. I think from there he goes to AEW and okay. he feuds he feuds against the elite because they didn't take him because in story they didn't take him with them. Well, they could. <laughs> they could killed him that. off, didn't they? I could see that. No, they didn't kill him. Uh, they didn't kill him off. They just you know had to. He's There's still the in the intro right. for being the elite. Yeah, that's true. yeah. I, I don't see him being at NWA. Yeah. yeah no, no, I was no. saying how Marty's going to be there for the bump in numbers, and then he's going to go to AW. <laughs> yeah. I might have given a really big stretch he's in numbers gonna, for no, their views. He's going to be like the, the post yeah. credit tag for the next AEW pay per view. There you go. There you go. So yeah, I can I can get with that. Here's what's going to happen. Marty, Marty, no, Marty's going to win the NWA World Title. No, he's not. No, he's he been is. there long no, enough. Yes, he is. Is that your, your official prediction? He is. Jesus Christ. He's going to win it. He's not going to hold it long. He's going to be like a Cody Reign. That's wanna, fair. Just no, to pop wanna, the numbers. Just to pop the yeah. numbers. Yeah. He's right. He's gonna pop the numbers, drop it, all right, and then go back. Go to AEW. Do you have any other predictions for the new year? Other uh, than good guys. Good guys are last. We'll get there. Are that, we? That, are, are we actually like waiting to do a good guys prediction? Yes, we are. Yeah. We are. Okay. Yes. okay. Um. Uh, I just I don't really have any predictions. I just hope because no, in all seriousness. I love the NWA. I fucking love it. You don't say. No. No. <laughs> Mad Mike. We, we already talked about this. Thing. <laughs> uh, I hope it does super well, and I hope it gets, like, way bigger. Well, I'm going to pay Cornette. $25 every time they have a pay-per-view, honestly. You, um, AEW, I think uh, Adam Page will probably win the belt within the year. 2020. Mm-hmm. Was, um, that, was, that, was that Adam Page or what? Adam Page will win the AEW title in 2020. I, I think. like that. No, uh, no. If not, uh, probably Omega. Probably. probably. I'm, not a, I'm not an Omega mark. I, I appreciate his talent, but I'm not an Omega mark. I mean, he just won the AAA title a couple months ago. He did. Yeah, but I just, I don't get it. You don't like Omega? No, no, I, I'm not I, saying I don't like him. I just don't get, like, the I, hype. I, I can understand. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm I can understand you where you're that. coming from. You know what I mean? I'm with you on that. I, I, like I, I do like as a as a worker myself. I appreciate his work. I think he's one of the best. Yeah. But I don't see like why so many fans like him. I I think that I think him <laughs> but, working consistently throughout the rest of the year in twenty twenty is going to transition to a weekly televised wrestler mm-hmm. as yeah. opposed to just yeah. a big. Because if you think about it, Omega for four years was a big match wrestler only. Yes. Like yeah, yes. he he held every title pretty much in New Japan. 
Mm-hmm. He wrestled nothing but main events, basically. That's why he's kind of bouncing around this mid card yeah. losing streak. So thing, like, I, I, I honestly think under fifteen minutes. But that yeah. I mean, yeah. that that could also be a personal preference thing with me, but because I don't prefer that the AEW style necessarily. Right. That's fine. Um, Punch and kick. Obviously, that's why yeah. I fucking By the way, love the on NWA. a side note, uh, Matt Carlos is out there. He says, "I think NWA is real good, just so this indie guy doesn't feel like he's alone." Oh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. I, I, will, I will try and watch NWA now that Cornette's gone. What did you say good, that good. his name was? Well, that was Matt Carlin, our friend in the mainstream media. Hey, Matt, whatever. Thank you. Thank you, brother. There you go. Mainstream. How how mainstream is that media? Uh, KDK. I don't. So yeah. Pittsburgh. I fucking yeah, hope. Cool. Hey. I'm not uh, the only if you one. Have the good, if you want to have kicking. the good guys on to interview us or talk about us, because uh, we have. I have a background in sports and in media. Uh, good guys on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or at real underscore Noctis, and we can we can talk. There's also a good guys Twitter that <laughs> someone is doing a terrible job of running. You Kayla can, uh, at real underscore Noctis, and uh, I'll raise respond. the camera here. Kayla, she's sleeping. Right? Who said we do a terrible job at social media? And then she's she's not wrong. Job, she's right? not wrong. She's not. But she said, "Oh, I'll do your social media for you." We said, "Okay." <laughs> How's what has she done? done? Yeah, nothing. In her defense, uh, I think she forgets that as a woman, it's easier to get social media followers from guys who just want to see you take your clothes off. So. Yo, yo, new plan. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. That, that was the creepiest <laughs> phrasing of new plan I've ever heard in my lifetime. New to plan. <laughs> Matt Mike just won me over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, Mad Mike. I'm this many beers in. I don't hate I, you, brother. He says, just... he says in response, it depends. Will you still be this drunk? <laughs> no, it's got a little hot. Sorry. Do you want us to be? Sorry. If yeah. you want us to be. Time out. What? Time out. Time out real quick. Mad Mike. I I'm trying it. to get some mainstream media. Halt. Time I out. I got a little hot there for a minute. I had to pee. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm Matt, I, we'll come hungry. on your show sober. Hey, show Matt, intoxicated. I'm Matt. hot and I have to pee. Yeah, but that's not. I still not the pee. same kind of hot. But okay, <laughs> Matt, brother, uh, we'll he's come getting married. Show. Wait, time out. Uh, I'll say this: Zach is batting well out of his his uh, pay grade. His girlfriend is really attractive for him. She's fucking. Oh, hot, Mike, I want to know. What, can we get a Absolutely picture of what me. Mike's fiance looks like? You want to see a picture of my girlfriend? Yeah. Uh, Wait, what are we doing now? What's like, that? What is you know, this though? You know Look, the, this isn't you know even the weird. Paul Heyman promo. Your arms are too short with the box of God. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Tell me, this isn't even weird. This is can, just my background. Can She's you bring like, her to the good guys at Mad Mike can show? You zoom. Uh, it, well, not really. Just but, go up to I the mean, camera. Yeah, just walk up to it. Just you're you're that one right there. You're, no, no, that one right there. Go no, no that, there. no, that one. That one's you. It's the phone's off. I don't know what you're doing. All right, it's kind of out of focus, but I but mean, I think everybody... She is way too attractive I for that. I think Zach. we got the idea. I think we got the idea. And she's a Penguins fan, Mike. And, yeah. yeah. So, oh, I, yeah. But so, Zach, I, I, Mike might be boxing with God, but until I see proof, <laughs> I've seen Kelly. My girlfriend's mm-hmm. 100% too hot for me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. All right, time out. Before I was fat, my girlfriend's pretty on par with me, but now she's much more attractive than I am because I'm fat. When I, when I graduated high school, I was 160 pounds. I was 155 pounds. What's happening right now? I'm 220 pounds. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm 205. 205? 205. 205. I forgot. I've been losing weight. I've been working out. <laughs> Fucking Necker Butcher was like, wrestle without a shirt, brother. And I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no. we're, we'll, we'll tell that story at the end of the show. There's a really good Necker Butcher story. Show. Yeah, I know. Fuck it. No, no, no. I, no, no, no. I want to hear it now. Sure. I have to tell all it. All right. We all, all have Necker Butcher stories. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. We both have to tell because we both have very similar views. Let me tell you at the time that I thought he was like the mayor of Dayton or something. Basically, he is. All right. So, me So me and Zach do a spot out at Rockstar Pro Wrestling in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Uh, I'm in contact with them. Super I'm okay. fun. Everybody oh, those, those guys cool. are great out there. Oh, they're there. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have an open invite to go back. It's just schedules yeah, haven't yeah. lined up. So we're out there, and this gentleman who I, I personally have not seen a Necro Butcher picture in easily 10 years. Oh, it sounds like Necro Butcher today, as mm-hmm. what you said is the mayor of Ohio, basically, he does, does not, not look, look like, like Necro Butcher no. of fame. No. no. So no. we're sitting there, and this gentleman's come talking to us, and he's saying stuff to us, like trying to calm us down. Like, it. In reality, could, I mean, he could tell that we're like a little nervous to be there because I mean, like for us, at least for me, I don't know like where you've all been, but because we just we're not that close. This is probably friends. the biggest thing Zach's done. 
honestly. <laughs> yeah, like absolutely. No, it is. It was. Like, for real. Being on this one rock star show was the, like the biggest thing I'd ever done. Uh, and, and I was and like, we, I was nervous, but I wasn't like super nervous. I was like, whatever. Like, I got your back. I know you got my back. So if shit goes crazy, like, and I'm and sure Zach's fine. used to being the creepiest looking dude. Yeah, uh, I was the weird looking one because I have like ten tattoos, and I was the least tatted dude there. My entire four year career is based off. Was was has been like, oh look, I'm the craziest looking right. dude. On but the show. so Necro Butcher's there in full manager gimmick suit, MAGA hat, yeah. doing the whole thing. Right? Yeah. We don't know who this gentleman is. Mm-hmm. Have no idea. I he's didn't, the I didn't whole realize night. he shaved his beard. Yeah. The mm-hmm. whole night. He's a handlebar mustache looking Raleigh fingers. Whole night. Hey, guys, calm down. Don't worry about it. Hey, do you rest with your shirts on? Don't do it tonight. Ro- no shirts. Just say, like, this, yes. This that. Is, this that. Is, that's 100%. I had no clue that was Necro No Butcher, idea. Right? Yeah. No fucking clue. So the whole night he's talking to us, and I'm telling Zach, who the fuck is this guy? I'm like, like I don't I'll know. I'll say it. I'm like, I'll I don't say know. it right now because I don't know. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy telling us? At one point in time, he may or may not have said to the other guys, if we wrestle with our shirts on, you know, Make it a rough match for us. He's and straight no, up. No. He told I don't want to bear no don't marry don't bury Necro Butcher. All right. So but he did exactly what he should have done to two guys who might have not listened to his advice as a veteran and a legend of the industry, really. Mm-hmm. Who did not I mean we didn't had no clue. And who we're just was. we're just two dudes and this guy's a manager who clearly has been there and has stroke there. If we say no, fuck you, what do you know? Absolutely, those guys should beat our asses. We weren't like blowing him off because we didn't know who he was. We, yeah. we were we were being respectful. Yeah, but at the same time, like every time we come talk to us, like who the fuck is this guy? So we wrestle our match. We have a match in which we we get put over. Like we, we, the other guys go over, but everyone said good. There's not a bad thing to be said about the good guys at Rockstar Wrestling, except for uh, we didn't one, lay in a super kick. We didn't lay in our super kicks, and my one knee didn't come. Like that was it. It was hey. Get the stuff in tighter. If they don't block it, kick their faces off. Yeah, other and, than that, they okay. had nothing bad to say about us. And at that time, we had maybe had three matches and together. At, legitimately, someone said to me, and I'm not going to say who, because, again, I don't do the whole Zach name dropping thing. I probably will say who. He will. They said, you got more heat before the match than the rest of the card did the entire night. Wow. Necro so told did, us did that, you, 100%. Did you, did you go in and do your kind of speech? Yes. Like, yeah, I, did, did, I did my normal, I, Yeah. Went in there, took the mic, did the whole thing. And the entire match, they were booing us. Um, Good. A gentleman who was significant in the rock star environment set, told the other team, hey, you didn't do enough for them. They went out there and did it all themselves, basically. Mm-hmm. So then Necro Butcher comes over to us and just starts so, just talking to us. So here's what us. happened. Hold this on, let me Zach's take part. over. So uh, after the match, I'm like, hey, brother, what happened? So, so we, were, we were told by Necro, hey, maybe don't wrestle with the shirts on. And uh, we were both very against it. Because we're both fat. Because we're both fat. Yeah. I'll take so, my shirt off right now. Please don't. So Do anyway, it. so we decided. Do it right, right now. All right, we're not going to wrestle with the shirt. So whatever. Fine. Someone in the crowd actually said, why did they do that? <laughs> you, can hear, you can hear it on the recording that my girlfriend made. Why did they take their shirts off? <laughs> Pretty sure it was her. Whatever. Probably was her. <laughs> whatever. No, doesn't matter. Was. So we have the match. Match went fine. Wasn't great. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't awesome. Not to get a, get us an open so we, invite. So we come we come back. Uh, we talk to somebody like he said, high up in the. What'd you say? The rock star echelon. Yeah, high up in the rock star echelon. Uh, didn't have really much bad to say about us. Whatever. So we come back and I'm like, brother, where's our shirts? He's like, oh, I think they're way over there. And I was like, uh, cool. And he's like, I'm gonna go get them. So I said, all right. So I'm sitting there, and then Necro comes up to me. Still, I have no clue who the fuck he is, because I haven't seen him ever without a beard. He's like, hey, brother, where'd your partner go? I'm like, I oh, went to grab the shirts. He's like, all right. When he comes back, meet me over there. So I'm like, all right. When I come back, I see yeah, this old dude he wants to talk to us. He's like, oh, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know. He just wants to talk to us. So we go over there. And at this point, he's got the whole suit off. He's got the tattoos on. And I'm sitting there, and he's talking to us. I'm listening to everything. But the whole time, I'm thinking, why the fuck does this guy's tattoos look so goddamn familiar? Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, he puts us over like a million dollars. I'm like, holy shit. Like, this is cool. You know, whatever. He's just putting us over. Tell us we got great heat. And management loves us and blah, blah, blah. We can come back whenever. So then literally his hand is in my hand. And I realize who the fuck he is. <laughs> because he notices the tattoo here says cut here. across. No, no. I, it was the Yoda tattoo. Oh, yeah. Him. that Yeah. Because I'm a Star Wars mark. And I was like, fuck me. The Snicker Witcher. <laughs> So he goes to me. So I g- literally grabbed him by the shirt and I said, do you realize who the fuck that was? I would go, no. And I said, it's fucking Necro Butcher. And he goes, holy shit. 
so the entire night we're like, oh, we're just gonna blow this uh, this guy off. Who we've the fuck been, is he? Oh, been, only like, like said, the Godfather of Deathmatch. <laughs> you know, a legend in the independent scene. I believe uh, you know, Grammy nominee. Uh, yeah, like I said, we've been Rob respectful. Or, I'm sorry, Oscar, Oscar nominee. We were respectful Rob to him the Oscar. whole night, but we've been pretty much blowing him off because we didn't yeah. know who the fuck he was. And then we're like, Jesus Christ! Well, at least we got put over by Necrobusher. And then the Dudley Boys. So hey. <laughs> Going you want to pick up those names that fell out of your pocket? Oh, oh shit! Sorry, put this back. Put this back. Put this back. There okay. you go. All right, there you go. So that, so that's that's the the good guys. All right. Bunch of story. Where were we on the prediction train? <laughs> I don't know. Twenty. I don't know. We were talking twenty twenty. Uh, <coughs> Zach said that Marty. Oh, he said Marty's Adam Page. Gonna, Adam Page win the AW title. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We or got Omega. Page. So we got. We you guys. talked about Omega a little bit. There we go. Um. We had Rizzo. We had the, well, the, no, 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 no. We didn't no, have Rizzo. Rizzo. I'm sorry. Get, no. Riz, what? Riz, Riz, I'm sorry. Riz, what do you predict for 2020 in pro wrestling? The fuck. Other than um, you meet the good guys. Exactly. Um, T-shirts, twenty five dollars. <laughs> for good I brothers. Twenty because I was. I was a, no. yeah, you're, um, you put us over. You're a good brother. Twenty five. Yeah. Good. All right. So I think ROH is done. Uh, I don't know. In 2020, yeah, yeah, yeah. ROH is going to get bought out. Uh, well, yes. Maybe. Oh, okay. that, yes. Bought out. Yeah, you can maybe yes. bought out. I don't know about NWA. I'm sorry? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. What you know, was that? You know Say what? that again. Say that again. ROH gets bought out by the NWA. You know what? That, I, I, I can fully hate it, but I'm not 100% I can it. believe it. I can believe it. As a feeder system, as a training system, to try to no, make themselves no, more I would time? say... I would say if that's what's going to happen, that Corgan would just take it over and like continue their loops, but with smaller buildings. Or well, 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 here's if he takes it over, like does he still get the TV deal? Probably. Mm-hmm. Pro- well, I mean, probably at least for he a while. Keep Sinclair. At least or, for a while. Maybe or, better, or does he buy it team. for the TV deal to put over NWA? Well, uh, yeah. no, because I did. You listen to they did Corgan and uh, Lagana did Sam Roberts podcast. No, I didn't. Okay, it's really good. You should listen to it. Okay. If, I That's mean, probably if you're the best the podcast NWA Sam thing, Roberts has ever had. As much as I did. I mean, they were, they're were they happy on YouTube. Mm-hmm. They're 100% happy on YouTube. Because mm-hmm. it makes them different. It makes them different. Mm-hmm. They like that they can go whatever time they fucking want to. Mm-hmm. 605. 605. 605. For as long as they want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know if... Like, the TV deal, I don't think it's a big deal for them. No. Not right now, anyway. What, think, what, what's in TV if you're not in prime knows? time? Exactly. Exactly. But I think, exactly. But the Hold talent up. pool yes. is the bigger deal there. Yeah. Grab, yeah. Grabbing the talent and the tape library but who's is probably a bigger library, thing yes. for them yeah. than anything. Uh, there might even be a better TV deal in the works if AEW and NXT keep yeah. rock and roll. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. Because yeah. Claire can only do so much with their with their stations. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're yeah. a syndicated network, but... But if you think about it, all that Ring of Honor stuff that gets put, that gets used on WWE TV, and well, now you have to thank the NWA and Billy Corrigan. Mm-hmm. That's, See, that's a, what that's a good I mean. Move. That's that's what I was saying. With I hope NWA just keeps growing because yeah, they are a hundred percent completely different than anything else on TV. Yeah, they're different than WWE or AEW. It is funny because like the old style is what makes Impact. them different. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not only the old style of taping; it's the old style of working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. just their matches are like Mm -hmm. I would so much rather digest a five minute match Mm -hmm. than a fucking thirty minute Mm -hmm. flip fest. Not that that's not Not impressive. Even Even just not that it's not. I did a thirty, just a thirty minute raw match. I did two Canadian destroyers in the last two weeks. I'm not saying. <laughs> Look at this flipping guy. Look at I'm this. I'm not saying that hey, the flips up, aren't fucking Zach impressive. Hey, what's up, Super Indie fucking Hunter? You if saw you... that Instagram post. <laughs> hey, hold up. <laughs> if, Justin wants bu- if Justin Plummer wants to book, if Justin Plummer wants a Super Indie match fuck. using the good guys, hey Justin, give us a call. You have there my you number go. still. Super Indie Zach Hunter. Super uh, Indie as fuck. <laughs> how many? Riz? How many predictions do we get, Sword? <laughs> well, I, I don't that know. That was two. It's kind of an open-ended thing. Yeah, Riz, make as many as you want. All right, I got one more. Jim Ross leaves. AEW. I don't know about that one. Oh, God, I would. Nah. Jim Ross yeah. with AEW. That touring might be tough on him at his age, I, to be I, honest. Well, he's they only doing they two only days. They only do one a week. Fit. Yeah, but still. But, well, time out. Ross's fit. travel schedule, he leaves He leaves early morning Wednesdays, shows up for, or, or late Tuesdays, sleeps, shows up still. Wednesdays. I think Jim his Ross has progressively gotten mesh. better each week, mm-hmm. but it's like, the, the open mindedness of accepting that style is really what's setting him apart. Yeah. The yeah. So here's what I think they need to do with Jim Ross. They need to tell him when someone's going to randomly debut. 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Who is this well, Wordo guy? It. He's like, who the fuck are these guys coming out of the ring? <laughs> yeah, and then the the Excalibur's like, it's the Butcher and the Blade. Oh, Mike and Riz. Mike and Riz. I, I don't think JR needs to leave AEW permanently. Mm-hmm. I think JR should be brought in for the main title match on every pay per view. Like WWE was doing. Yes. Like WWE. And they just have the. the Dynamite correspondence be but still, uh, Excalibur and Shivani. But still, Shivani and Excalibur alone are making this storytelling. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. They're, they're doing they're doing a lot better than Jr. did. Mm-hmm. Jr. I, only suffers when he don't know the, who the fuck somebody is. I think if Jr. Let him, care. let him focus on one match, mm-hmm. one story he has to know. And it's usually going to involve one person he knows implicitly. Like, Cody. But if you just give him some fucking info, yeah. Yeah. when someone's going to stab through the ring and come out. Of the part front. of that's probably on JR, though, because he's always done record saying, I don't want to know. I think if yeah. JR, if say, let's, let's say not just main events and not just the title. Let's say he only does the pay-per-views, the four a year right now, right? Let's say he watches the product. He now learns stuff. He asks, hey, um, Excalibur, what's the name of this move? Tony, what's the name of that? What What's going on there? And then he collects all of his data. So the entirety of the pay-per-view, he has his insight, his years of wrestling knowledge, his years of broadcast knowledge. He has that specialty. He has that information. Let that be a, a he has study it. guide, basically. He has it, but uh, remember what happened during May Young Classic? Yep. How he just was, like, uninterested. Mm-hmm. In- yeah. Anything. They had to redo the entire commentary of that show. Really? And it was just, it, he doesn't seem, he seems like he's going down that rabbit hole of uh, just go through the motions and finish out. And I think that's what they're going to do. I, I, I don't want to see him go, but he's not good. I think like Shivani and Excalibur have to pick him up off his ass. Mm-hmm. No, I, dis- mm-hmm. I disagree. I think it's just. I think it's like like Nocta said, he doesn't want to know. That's half the problem. Mm-hmm. If you would slightly educate him, like, okay, these guys are going to debut tonight. We're not going to tell you when, but here's some info on them. But well, if he doesn't want to know, he doesn't want to know. Yeah, but you yeah, got to say, yeah, okay, yeah. here's some info on these guys so you could talk it's about It's hard them. to tell somebody that, 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 that better in the business how to it, do his job. If, mm-hmm. if the viewing public is expected to know who these people are for debuting, then the announcer should know who they yeah. are. Yes. Yeah. But that's I, see, I that's a, like, that's, that's AEW's biggest problem is they expect everyone to know everyone. Well, yeah, or, like the butcher but, the blade. Butcher the blade. Like, I was I just gonna no say biggest fucking, example. Mm-hmm. I know no who they are. Who they are. Like I vaguely know now that one of them used to be Braxton Sutter. Yeah, it, I exactly. still don't know which one that is. The it's the skinny <laughs> one. No, it's the skinny one. It's the yeah, back you guys, the bigger one. Know, someone married to Ali. The bigger yeah. one is in a band. Yeah. As I lay down. Yeah. No, it's every time I die. Yeah, Sorry, I'm, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm the metal guy. So. I, I think that JR's best role there would be to help. like Because I think he's still trying to bring what he did at WWE. He's bringing their real life information. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the characters, they still have that aspect of kayfabe in the AEW. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and, what, and the, what's he bringing? What real life, what athletic endeavors, what real life, what did this gentleman go through? What struggle did he actually live mm-hmm. that JR always preached upon using? Yeah, I mean, that's not there in AEW right now. They're not doing that yet. In reality, mm-hmm. nowadays, most guys are just fucking pro wrestlers. Yeah. Like yeah. That, and, Cause they wanted yeah, like, to be, they didn't, they didn't compete in, in college wrestling, they weren't double A, like triple A athletes or anything like that. Tango, it's just, I mean, if, I mean, if you look at you or even me a little more specifically, I, I mean, I played sports in like elementary and middle school, but like high school, I didn't play any sports. I just wanted to be a pro wrestler. Yep. Yeah. Like yeah. That. And that's all. It, I mean, and that's how and, guys are now. Yeah. And to get back to the cafe point, uh, it, look at what jungle boy is. Yeah, everybody um, calls him Jungle Boy except for one person. He's Jungle Jack Perry. <sighs> Jungle I Jack Perry. Hate that. I don't think it's it, 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 Jungle Jack Perry. I, I think the only reason I dislike that is because it's like Jungle Boy has done so good his entire career to not be a member of the Perry family. Yeah, right? like mm-hmm. yeah, everyone knew he's Luke Perry's kid. Yeah, but no one ever talked about it. Yeah, until yeah, I mean, you can look at him and say, "Wow." 
He looks like Luke. Oh, Perry. He looks exactly like, like, like his Luke dad. Did. But you want to yeah. put it over on television so people have a reason to watch. Like, oh, that's you know. So, so I I, d- I, I think that Jr. is good in that point. Say, like, hey, we're gonna get a different audience because this is Luke Perry's son. So at that you're, point, like no one right. else is shameless enough to say, hey, we're gonna use this dead icon's name. Mm-hmm. Like no one else is gonna do that. Jr. will because they don't give a fuck. I I don't think it kills it that much. I think you know what. I fucking, it, you know it, what? I love the Luchasaurus gimmick. I think his work kills it. The only, yeah. the only reason I the, think it the kills weird kicks he throws are the only reason I think it kills. The good only man. reason, good. Uh, the only reason I think it kills the gimmick is because this is a new company. The, these are not household names. The, like when you have the announcers referring to new talent as different things. It can confuse a new viewer and it can turn them off. Right, when the Undertaker right. debuted, you didn't have Piper say the Undertaker Mark Calloway. Mm-hmm. You didn't. You just called him the Undertaker. You called him what he was billed. Mm-hmm. You didn't. You called Steve Austin the Ringmaster. There were people who knew who Steve Austin was, but they called him the Ringmaster. You call a man what he is billed as. Because otherwise, it's confusing for the new viewers that you were trying to draw in. Unless like, you're Virgil. You can mention it. Okay, once. so I agree with you to an extent on that. Um, here's what pisses me off: is that um, Joey Janela is the bad boy, and then what's his dick? Uh, Kip Sapien is <laughs> super, super bad. Kip Sapien. <laughs> super bad. You know, like it's the what, same gimmick. I think that that's a that's gonna be long term storytelling though. Okay, that's but it's the be, same gimmick. It, it is. It's exactly that. But think about it. Uh, when Joey debuted, who was his valet? Uh, his girlfriend Penelope Sorry, Ford. I couldn't think of her name. Who is currently in storyline? Super bad's girlfriend. Exactly. Uh, I don't so think that, they're I gonna think, do it though. I don't think they'll do it. I yeah, we'll see. But here's the, here's my thing. I had this uh, I had this conversation with Russ. Is that super bad Kip Sapien, as talented as he is, is a less interesting Joey Janela. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's AEW's problem. Like their women division is lacking so oh fucking God. much. The amount of, there's not the amount none of them, not one of them, except for like Kong, like the high profile the girls, the ones has that any not- I, and they're all talented, but not one of them has any character. Britt Britt Baker, I don't know if anybody here is friends with Britt. I don't know Britt. I've never met Britt. I'm not saying anything negative about her, but they're billing her as like this top baby face mm. woman. She's got a good story. But, but, and, but and she's, she's they're pushing her story. Yeah, but like her real life story. But I've seen nothing from it. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that's that, what a lot yeah, of she's barely been on for like a and month. Like, I, and I'm so. not saying anything bad about Britt because, like I said, I don't know her. I know she's from Pittsburgh and everything. I've never met her. But they're like uh, Brandy Rhodes was talking about, oh, Britt's the golden child or whatever on the last Dynamite. But I'm like, what? How is that? I don't see the, that. Because you haven't one, pushed her as that. You may say she is, mm-hmm. but I'm not seeing it. They haven't shown it on TV. Yeah. The only so, like, with the story why, why would you w? say that if mm-hmm. she's if you haven't presented it? Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. The Go only ahead. woman with a story in AEW is Cody's wife. Yeah. 100%. Like, uh, I, and this... I'm sorry. I got to get it out. This go. dark fucking thing that she's trying to do is fucking terrible. I just want to know terrible. where that's going. Yeah, like I no, I I know where it's going. It's going to Awesome Kong winning the women's title, but Brandy Rhodes saying she's the champion. The mm, old uh, million dollar man. Yeah, I can see it. That, yeah, that, that's where it's going in my head. Who was the Who was the uh, the fan that they shaved her head? I she's, she's a worker. A worker. Oh, I can't think of who it is though. But yeah, who no. was? I wasn't paying no. attention because literally, because it was so uninteresting. I just like started playing on my phone. I'll, I'll Brandy Rhodes, I hate it because she's actually a really good promo. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. can cut a promo. Oh yeah, but they're yeah. they're scripting so much into this story. She's that, trying so hard to be this yes. character, that which she's is so yes, which is exactly. so strange because they're so good at saying Jericho, you're not scripted, do your thing. Yeah, right? that, Cody, I mean, Cody, go do your thing. If I can bring it back to us for a second, we're a prime <laughs> example of don't try to be something you're not. I tried so hard for three years to be this fucking tough guy. Mm. And I'm not saying that I'm not tough, but like I'm so much more interesting as this fucking just goofy asshole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even Russ was like, uh, I had the match with Noir, and he was like, "Yeah, it was a good match, but like you're so much more interesting as a as a good guy, as a good guy, because yeah. you're just you have a character mm-hmm. who's who you are mm-hmm. in the locker room." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, 
I think so. Why is Brandy over here trying to be this dark cult leader mm-hmm. when that's clearly not who she is? Clearly, she's a caring. You know, she wants to see the women thrive, but she's hired all these women with no character. They're all interchangeable. Because everyone in AEW who doesn't have a gimmick has to be in a cult. Brandy exactly. Rhodes is, in reality, the woman skeptic a man tries to portray in the women's evolution. Yeah, that's she cares true. about the women succeeding, and I think the problem with the women's division there is they've got a tremendous pool of talent, but they try so hard to showcase everybody each week. This girl, then that girl, then too much turnover. Yes, mm-hmm. but they've got. I cannot think of her. I, this is the problem. I can't think of the girl's name. She's the one who looks like an anime character. Tiny little girl wears the Rio. Like, no, not Rio. Not Rio. Rio. No, no, no. A different girl. Oh, the other girl. She's not the number two anymore, but she's like the, the number the three. Queen, the, the, no, 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 no. Exactly. The Freddie Mercury girl? No. No, no, no. That's the other Asian it's girl. The, it's a different girl. It was the, she was like the sixth one. There's the only three. She's like the really tiny one. She I looks, know who you're talking about. She, I can't remember her name, but yeah, I know who you're talking about. She's super small. They put her over in pro practice <laughs> all the time. She's a tremendous athlete, and she has a hell of a meteora, mm-hmm. but um, I can't think of her name. Emmy Sakura. No, not Emmy. No, it's nope. the other no. one. The it's, other it's, one. I don't know her fucking yeah, name either. It's not the it's not the woman who was the number two. It's not Emmy who trained Rio. It's like the fourth girl, right? Uh, I can, AEW has three you, uh, Japanese I'll girls. Yusuke, I'll, Yuka, look it, I'll, look, I'll look it up. I'll look yeah, it up. But she's she's completely different. And she was the most over when they had the Joshi match. She yeah. was the one that everyone actually fell in love with, and she hasn't been there. Might be a visa issue, might be a travel issue, might be a fi- whatever it may be. But they haven't featured even in promos or in vignettes, anything, right? So there's this other girl who was the one who they actually all attached to. Like I love Britt. I know Britt personally. I've I've trained with Britt. I was there when she wrestled with Katie Arquette in her first match. I helped agent that match. I've met her boyfriend. I've had lunch with Britt. Hikaru Shida. Yes. yes. Hikaru Shida. Hikaru. So I love Britt, but Britt is not over with that audience yet. No. Not Hikaru yet. was over as fuck with that audience and, even, even, and again, even this this alien chris Stat- statler yeah, girl that's she's really getting over she's, she's chris getting over she's interesting chris is a stud. exactly it's uh, it's it's proven in america and AEW for some fucking reason hasn't realized it is that characters get over not the wrestling mm-hmm. AEW is relying on wrestling not character and i'm not saying that's a problem there needs obviously, to be a ground. Yeah, yeah, obviously, as a mm-hmm. worker, I appreciate mm-hmm. wrestling opposed to necessarily you, character. You need, you need more than that. But in yeah. America, to in America, to American audiences, you need character for the broad American like, audience. Exactly, and, time. And, and exactly, is, and and the broad American audience is, is paying attention. to This AEW. is a problem that Ring of Honor has had for yeah. years. Ex- yes. Yeah, if, yeah. If you just look at who are the big, who are the three biggest names in professional wrestling history. John Cena, The Rock, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan we could even Cold. throw Stone Cold, Stone Cold and, the, yeah. and the Ultimate Warrior in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows who Hulk Hogan is. Mm-hmm. And for years, everyone's buried Hulk Hogan not being able to work. Mm-hmm. But you watch his match with the Noki in Japan, dude can fucking go. As soon but as, none of us know that let me, because the character was over. Time out. As soon as you become a worker, you realize Hulk Hogan can fucking work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you yeah. realize Ultimate Warrior fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> Ultimate Warrior over for but, all those years. But at the same time, as a worker, you understand that Warrior is so over for a fucking reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you hate Bill and, Goldberg. And I hate to say <laughs> No matter what. <laughs> I, I still hate Goldberg. Like, I hate to say it, but when you like when you're running head to head, it's gonna draw comparisons. Yeah. If yep. you look at the AEW women's roster compared to the NXT oh, women's yeah. roster, but, no comparison. But, no but, comparison. Right. But like NXT could run a two hour show of all women's wrestling they could but and it would still be over like crazy i have a uh rebuttal to that mm-hmm. i'm sober enough as you can tell <laughs> <laughs> good words to come around. um i think mm, 75 to 80 percent of the women's roster in nxt is interchangeable yes hundred percent. Okay. I think, um, uh, let me no, let me explain. Let me explain. Really? Who, let me explain. Who that women's war games match was interchangeable. Let me That's explain. Why I said eight. Go, 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 ahead. Explain. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think uh, Tegan Knox and what's Dakota, the Dakota? Dakota Kai are interchangeable. Hundred percent. She's changing. More. She's changing. I think now. Dakota they're, they're changing the now. Better. They're changing yeah. now. Yeah. I'm excited to so see her as sure a heel. I'm excited to see her as a heel. I will say I watch AEW before I watch NXT. 
Um, and I skipped the women's matches. <laughs> not because they're bad, because they're missing character. They're not. They're just not interesting. They're just not. Oh, interesting. You exactly. You exactly. Match, hold on. You skipped the women's matches on AEW. Yes. yes. Okay. I was gonna say because they're just not interesting. Not because they're bad. NXT? Not We're because they're necessarily problem. bad. I mean, they're the most edited matches on mm-hmm. Dark. Yeah. One hundred percent. They had to be. They had to be. That, that one was... in Pittsburgh was a drizzling shit. Oh my god! I it was the first time I noticed any editing. I don't yeah. know. And it was because of the girl that had only been working two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I have to. I have to agree. Aside from look at Shayna Baszler, uh, Baszler, Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley, uh, and um, Bianca uh, Belair. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. who's the uh, uh, fuck Gargano's girlfriend or wife? Candice. Candice. I'm so Candace. sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry to Candice Ray. I know you're not watching. I feel like but Candice I'm a huge will fan. never get a major. Like she'll get a push in NXT, but she'll never get a main. Like, Mainstream she, push she because unfortunately, of all the match with the young bucks. She is fortunately also interchangeable. Yeah. Yes. Unfortunately, she, I love like, Candice Array. I fucking when she took them back super kick. I was like, holy need, shit. Like, she needs something to get above being just Gargano's wife. Yeah. Exactly. Unfortunately, exactly. I think that's pushing where they put that her. story. Unfortunately, really for all those NXT girls, they're they're interchangeable. Asi- mm-hmm. Aside, if they're from, not like, indie workers. Mm-hmm. So nobody's exploded with like the 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 interest of like a, a Charlotte or Sasha or Bailey no, no. of those on. days. There's, I, there's uh, one. There's I, one. I, no, I I was like, not nobody, but there but is there's one. Not as many. Okay. There is one, and that's Tony Storm. I firmly Tony Storm really one hundred percent. When I watched I the May Young Classic, I watched it with my girlfriend. Really, you're not on the Rhea Ripley uh, bandwagon. I love, I love Rhea Ripley. Rhea. I do. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's the fact that she's so tall helps her. Yeah. When I watched the May Young Classic, I told my girlfriend, I said, this girl's getting signed, Tony Storm. And, and she didn't get signed off the first May Young Classic, and it blew my fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, and she was, my girlfriend was like, why? And I said, she's the only girl with character. Every other girl is just a fucking Scary. female wrestler. Yeah. And like, you know, the Asian girls are just doing the Asian gimmick. And like, unless you're like over the fucking top super well, character, you had, you had Jazzy in that first man. Jazzy, Jazzy, Jazzy was Jazzy one was I thought should have got signed too. Well, 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 she, she, and she was she going was. to, except she had to get surgery. Yeah, but she, I thought I thought she was Tony, doing when she was doing her physical f- to get signed. It was a they shoulder. found something. I it thought for sure, and I told my girlfriend, I said, "Tony's getting signed. Mm-hmm. She's gonna win." And she didn't, and it blew my mind. Yeah, because I was like, "This is the only girl that has a gimmick." So we're running late, and we still have more. We could talk all together. I know we could. Shit. And now we got See? you going. Now we got a good you guy going. podcast. A good guy podcast. I, Mad uh, Mike, uh, Ronnie, do you I, have one? Can I go home and go to sleep? <laughs> no. Leave, Ronnie. I don't care. Ronnie, do you, do you have here? a prediction? For what? 2020. For 2020. Ronnie, stay here. Go, just play on the couch. Just Ronnie, it's fine. Couch. It'll be fine. Uh, 2020? Good guys. That's yeah, no, yeah, that's gonna end happen. of the day. Oh, end we haven't even got to that yet. End of the night. No, we're getting there. We're going to take the tag titles from Dan and Dustin. So. Illuminati confirmed. You're gonna, you're gonna take it from the from uh, OSHA. Yeah. Uh, other from, other yeah, other, other, other wrestling from... predictions. Move up on the mic. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, like he works there or something, right? Yeah, right. Fuck, I'm being yeah. unprofessional as fuck right now. Uh, other perf- uh, wrestling, am I right? <laughs> That's a Ronnie prediction. doesn't actually watch wrestling. I don't watch wrestling. That's his problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I watch. I mean, I'm going to come over for uh, the New Japan thing. You're mm-hmm. coming over for the Rumble, right? New Japan, I am coming over for Rumble. New yeah. Japan Slumber Party right here at the studio. Yeah, I'm doing that because right. I love New Japan. That's right. I'm um, coming for that. We'll, we're going to be booked. We're booked. So you can't. Where are you guys booked? Apparently, I'm not fucking booked. I don't want to tell you. You're just going to bury it. <laughs> I'm not going to bury it. <laughs> KSWA. I'm totally what show is that? Oh, for all. Oh. No, I. Oh, oh no, no, we're no, booked. no, no, no. We no, could no, potentially no, no. come no, no, after. It's like the sh- three in the morning. Yeah, the bro. show's at three in the morning. I'm going to KSWA and I'm going to Black oh, you're Diamond. Coming? Okay, we can and come we're after. watching yeah. Wrestle Kingdom. No, we can come I don't know when the fuck I'm going to sleep, but it's happening. Oh, we're coming after that. We're coming right over. That's for fine. We'll come right after. Jushin Liger's last matches. We're going to watch on this one. Yes. All right. Good. We're coming over. There you go. It's happening. Why am I not booked? We're doing a live. We're doing a live stream. Rum and eggnog. If you want. We are. Yeah, yeah sure. Good guys live stream. January I don't know who's 4th. watching. It'll be three in the morning. I don't give a shit. Someone will. Kayla will. Shh. Hey. <laughs> she doesn't sleep. Shh. It's fun. Shh. Anyway, Shh. so sad. Good guys live stream. Three o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. January 4th. New Japan <laughs> Wrestling Kingdom. Uh, sure. But is it fourth Kingdom. and fifth or third and fourth? I don't remember. Kingdom. Saturday, it's Saturday and Saturday and Sunday morning. Uh, well, then we got Black Rats Diamond in the morning. Kingdom. And yeah, then we'll yeah. just come back and yeah. do the. Yeah, that's fine. Technically, that's I don't. <laughs> Why aren't you just come, Ronnie? Just Why show the fuck up. Are you? Fuck. You're selling what? A rock bottom. 
<laughs> not even a good I'm one. S- I'm selling. I'm selling me not wanting to get. Or one. you could say you're selling <laughs> Fetty's punch, and Fetty will be real excited about it. <laughs> oh, he's, he's selling the plunge, huh? Anyway, uh, anyway. sorry, Ronnie. Your uh, <laughs> predictions for 2019? Not Independent the wrestling, boys. not related to the good guys. Uh, well, TMA will get signed by WWE. At some I point. really hope they do. I really do. I think I'm they not will. even fucking around. I love those dudes. Um, they've been nothing but fun to work with. The mm-hmm. two times I worked with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those dudes are great. I hope mm-hmm. they do get signed. And if they don't, I'm gonna be really upset. Uh, I think uh, it's gonna be the year for uh, Pittsburgh Indie Wrestling guys getting uh, some uh, getting recognition. Looks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a big year for the area. I hope so. Yeah. So that's, there's uh, a lot of honestly, there's a lot of good talent. Here. A lot of main really yeah. talent, yeah. Yeah. especially us. I'll, I'll, so uh, I mean, with us, us excluded. There really is a lot. I'm, yeah, I'm going to both put over and bury someone right now yeah. at the same time. Is it oh, me? No, no, no. no. So, oh, I was hoping it was me. It's, it's uh, me. As it's a fun. person, I, as a wrestler, I really enjoy me some Lee Moriarty. Mm-hmm. I was I, literally going to... Time out, time out. Hold but on. As a Lee's person, going to Japan hold on. in As a person, hold on Lee's now. a little bitch. Do Apex of Love, you bitch motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Let Apex me, of Love. Let me show coming soon. Go ahead. Let me add to that. I also love Lee. And uh, he's not fucking scary, first of all. Not at all. But um, I hope that dude gets everything he wants because he's great. He okay. is 100% he's going great. to Japan he's, next year. First of all, he's super fucking nice, yeah. which is hard to find. Yeah. And he works hard as fuck. Yeah. So I hope he gets everything he wants. Genuinely I really a good do. guy. Yeah. Him and TME, I hope they get yeah. everything they want mm-hmm. in this business. I mm-hmm. really do. I want to work with Lee one more time before someone. I have never got. He's a, he's a stud. I but, only got to work with Lee in a battle royal one time, and he kept hitting me in the shoulder. And I was like, I thought you were good, bro. As far as <laughs> <laughs> literally, and he was like, "You're leading into it." I was like, "Yes, you can hit me where you're supposed to, you fuck." I don't know if I've told the story before, but we were doing a Black Diamond show, right? It was like in a parking lot, and me and Lee were wrestling. We I think we opened the show. In a parking right? lot was that yeah. the one I main evented? Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, it was. It was. was it? No. The, yes, because the main event ended up turning into like a big brawl battle royal, right? No. No. This is like some place no. like a wing fest outside of like a knockoff giant eagle. Anyway, yes, that was the one I yes, made of it. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. So this was back when I was still doing the mask and thing, and Beastman, no. Beastman hey. comes up to me and goes, we're trying to take an over under of how many flips you and Lee are going to do. Yes, this is so the one. So we went out there and me and Lee brawled and did everything the rest of the card did. Got to the back and went, good, follow us now. Fuck off. And then you ruined my match because that's all I did. Yeah, we ruined the rest of the show because me and Lee did all of it in the first and match. Then, yeah, because then me and you weren't, wearing, you weren't in the mask. That's right, because I was I was Chris Kenny that night. Yeah, and me and <laughs> me and uh, <laughs> Ace Wrestle's chaotic Chris Kenny. Why, and, why well, is yeah, that yeah. name funny? I don't know. <laughs> Me and uh, me and Keith Hart main evented. I was, yes, that's right. I was right. nervous. I was nervous as shit because it was my first time main event as a single. And then me and Lee fucked it up for everybody and did brawled. all Beastman spots and all the Cause like because we were fucking with you for doing all kinds of flippy shit. So we the, our high spot was me and Lee did kip ups. The main event. My grand my grandfather who like doesn't even like wrestling came to that show and walked into the like the locker room. <laughs> did you mean like, behind the truck? And I was like, what the fuck are you doing back here? You gotta go. That's the reason why I didn't wrestle as Knockers that night because uh, all the fans could see behind us. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna be Chris Kane tonight." All right, Mad Mike, what is your prediction? Sorry, Mike. Oh no, it's fine. Um, oh wait, my okay. Mike's gonna Please. predict. I gotta pee. <laughs> Go for it. No. I do hey, I, I, Sorry, I just Mike. I'm just you guys are bullshitting. So it's That's fine. Fair. Um, yeah. Um, Jesus. So my predictions for 2020: um, Cody will win the AEW title. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I think that's gonna happen. Um, a friend of the show will win a single championship in WWE. Thanks, buddy. Oh wait, no, that's not me. Oh, hold on, oh. hold on. It could be you. What friend of the know. show works other than Ray? Let's see, Ray, uh, walking wild. Ray Elias, Elias. Wild. Oh, that's right. Eli- oh, Elias, uh, went, uh, I love Logan. He ain't went shit Gargano, this year. Gargano, uh, uh, War, uh, War those not on the show. I'm uh, winning the 24 7 championship. Oh, jeez, why can't I remember? Uh, 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 greatness. Uh, uh, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Eric, Eric Young, technically. Uh, Kev- Joaquin like, Wilde wins the Kingsbury title. The guy yeah. taking on Adam Cole this week. Keith, oh, and Keith Lee's Finn a friend Bauer? of the show. Can Is he? Yeah. Keith Lee's a friend of the show. Yeah, oh. yeah, we interviewed him. Oh, that, uh, uh, Cedric okay. Alexander. Yeah, but, um, I love Cedric. Yeah, what a good dude. Oh, yeah, we, we, shout out the big shout out to Monroe, Ariel Monroe getting signed. 
Good for her getting signed by AW. Good. Big swole. Good for her. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Um, another prediction. WWE will have an intergender match on pay per view, man versus woman. Who? I don't know who. Oh. Uh, Candace versus All right, Adam Cole. Uh, just, just, just to throw just to throw something out. Becky versus Seth. Yeah. Oh, that's too easy. Yeah, give us a give us a No, uh, I'm just saying. You're talking, probably right. If it's gonna happen, you're probably divisions? right. Are we talking women's divisions? Again? No, it's no, no, an no, intergender no. match, Becky versus Seth. Hey, if it was think, me if it was me booking, it'd be Oscar versus Lesnar. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think because WWE will do intergender. Wrestling. If they're gonna do it, you're probably right. It'll probably set them back I mean, in. Look at the mix yeah. match challenge, right? It, yeah. it'd be, I don't think they'll do it ever again. It, other it than would mixed be match. Booking, it'd be Oscar versus Brock. All right. Who's that, over though? That that'd be Oscar. Has to be Oscar because she's mm. the better worker. Can, and I, I, can also, I just quickly say that uh, TNA has had the best women's division consistently for the last ten years? Oh, really? absolutely. For ten, 10 years. years. Yeah. Ten yeah. years. Wow. Gail Kim, years. ODB, Madison Rain, absolutely. Gail Kim. Listen, I love Charlotte. I love Becky. I love Charlotte. Uh, Gail I'm sorry, Kim Sasha the, and Bailey. Charlotte, but Becky. Gail Kim is probably the best women's wrestler on mm. the planet. Alexa Bliss, care. number two, 100%. Yes. I, and not just because I think she's hot as I fuck. Think, you know, and I, I would leave my hottest fuck worker. girlfriend right now for Alexa Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> she's not watching. She don't care. Um, <laughs> not, and I told us. her this. I've told you her this. You don't know that. Yeah, we do. She's not watching. She's not watching. She's not watching. Yeah, she just, I try to tell her about wrestling. She does not give a shit. I, th- I anyway, think Alexa Bliss is a better worker, but Gail Kim is a better wrestler. Time out. Alexa Bliss, number two behind Gail Kim, 100%. Not even fucking around. Gail Kim, number one. Alexa Bliss, number two. All around worker. All around. Yeah, yeah. But TNA, top to bottom, the best women's division for the last 10 years. Look at, like he said, Gail Kim, Awesome Kong, Madison Rain for yeah. so long. And then now they have Tessa and... uh Jordan Ty. Grace. Oh, uh, Jordan Grace is so good. Ty is a star. Um, ha- uh, Havoc, Jessica I, Havoc. Yeah. They've had the best there for that long. The women's revolution started in TNA, 100%. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you're, if you're going to try to argue that, you're stupid. No, absolutely. You're just stupid absolutely. and you don't understand wrestling. They're, they're giving wrestling more of a chance there than anybody else was. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I used to tell when my when me and my girlfriend got together before I was in the business, I used to say, I watched TNA for the wrestling. I watched WWE because it's characters you know that's that's i bet that should be an all-around prediction this year tessa blanchard wins the tna title mm-hmm. off of oh, Sammy, that's, yeah. Sammy that's, that's absolutely she's that's beating Callahan for the theory. title in well, the I'm, that's not even, I'm not even sure. writing that down that's a solid one uh, I, I, so i was about to say um prediction for 2020 there will be two women fighting for the tna world title mm-hmm. who's the other one taya jordan taya, oh, jordan? taya or jordan taya? yeah either i don't or. think taya will in fact no. I, it could be Taya loser leaves town match and Taya goes to WWE with could be. that's could that be. makes sense actually yeah I so, was gonna say I think Taya leaves and goes so to WWE. so my prediction along with that I think Impact will kind of be even more solidified as a as a solid number three only because they're on like Access and not like TNT I, I wish yeah. I wish Impact would get more credit because I think Impact has a great roster mm-hmm. yeah yeah they're making I, noise they're making noise they are. Yeah. I, did you they watch their uh, block me on Twitter did you watch their uh, uh, they did like <laughs> the eighties. Like the South Pole. I haven't had a chance. No, it no. Was, I hear it was great. hilarious. I hear it's great. I'm watching it. Over I haven't. The I haven't watched because I don't get access. Yeah, I, I have the Twitch, but I don't. I, I think don't you can, you can watch the impacts. I believe with the uh, sign up to the account to their their app, their their Impact Plus without without paying for it. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think mean, the impact shows are on there. I have the Twitch, but I just. I just haven't. Yeah, yeah. You're I just mean, not yeah, logging in at the right hard. time. I have, the I have. It is. So, there's so much wrestling to watch. I, know, I don't have time to yeah. get on and watch extra. Watching in a wrestling wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> I miss, especially with how much I fucking love the NWA. All I know is someone's yelling at Ronnie through the phone. Is it? And I don't know who it's directed towards, but it's I'm going to assume it's probably us. It's Kayla. <laughs> probably oh, us. She's like, say? why are they burying me? All I heard is, can you tell these motherfuckers I was probably us? It's okay though. But anyway, <laughs> but, Mike, uh, do you no. have more predictions? Uh, me? No. Uh, what, what's your turn? Oh, I have, I have uh, one I more. Mine. Uh, no, I meant the one that gets paid for this. I have one more prediction. <laughs> the good guys will wrestle in ROH. Ooh! Oh, oh, shit. Good Mad Mike. Good brother discount. Mad Mike, twenty five dollars. Mad Mike turned baby face. Twenty bucks for the t shirt, brother. <laughs> Wait, he gets twenty bucks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> twenty five. He put us over okay, 25. He said we'll wrestle for better. ROH if ROH still exists. <laughs> oh, they, they will. I just don't they think will. they'll be owned by no, Sinclair. I think, I think they'll get owned I, by They're, they're going to be limping a little bit, but they'll be around. You know what? This is honestly this is something I thought about. Hmm. 
is that um, nobody thanks ROH for what they've done. Oh, yeah. Wrestling. No, no, oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. no ROH not. just got the shit end of the stick for I, no you know, reason. You know who identifies ROH as a, as a valid resource of great talent? WWE. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah. have actively done that. If you watch some of the programming in the documentaries, they, put them they over. have yeah. actively put over Ring of Honor as a very solid thing. If you think, even, if you legitimately think about it, ROH is responsible for NXT. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, entire almost entire main roster now. NXT, AEW, Japan success, yeah. and yeah. NWA success. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put another prediction in there, and I hope this doesn't happen. But WWE will pull an ECW. What? On ROH. And destroy them? You mean they'll uh, buy them, no, bring them back? Gonna, and no, no, no. no. I, mean, I mean the first part where they buy them, get they the tape library, and and that, and that maybe they'll do something with the brand. Who knows? Maybe. You know what? If they if it, they bought them and then... Let them be ROH? Let them be? What potential. It could maybe be okay. Well, they're, potential. Like what they're doing with oh, Evolve. God, A lot I of other podcasts... Better, like I, I don't put it over a lot of other people, so I'm not going to use their names, but I listen to them religiously. Facebook? No, not Facebook. Uh, but they've all they've often said that NXTs like went from being development. They need another developmental. You don't want to use Evolve because if you keep just flooding Evolve with NXT guys, mm-hmm. you saturate that super indie that Evolve be- has let me, become. Let me say so something. So if you use Ring of Honor as a developmental, oh, well, that's not a bad. Uh, These guys are on TV doing stuff yeah, already, so they're yeah. getting a little bit of a Ring brand. of Honor I mean, can be a st- uh, can be a big deal for either NWA or for. Um, WWE. I don't think they'll be a player for New Japan much longer, and they definitely won't be for AEW because there's a bad taste in their mouth for all those guys that left. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm-hmm. I think Ring of Honor is. I think Ring of Honor. They sell getting, this year. Ring of Honor is getting the NWA treatment of the early nineties. They yeah. literally yeah. are responsible for how wrestling is right now. Mm-hmm. The same way the NWA was. The NWA was responsible for the WWF. They were responsible for WCW. They were responsible for ECW, mm-hmm. and then responsible for TNA. Mm-hmm. It got chucked to the side, and then in all the cases, were nothing. Yeah, and now look at the NWA. Yeah, because of Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor is getting the shit in the stick, and well, every time I watch Ring of Honor, I fucking feel terrible. I think if we've learned anything, especially in the last week, I mean, promotions don't die; they just get reset. <laughs> yeah, multiple times. Yeah, right. <laughs> I a hundred percent. I feel I feel terrible for Ring of Honor. I feel so I bad because mm-hmm. they lost all the, their good the, talent. Just like the morale when I went to the live show was like like you know I talked to somebody about like some of the stuff and in, in AAW wearing the talent. It's just like oh wow, this is like and you could tell like the air of the show I, was uh, not the Ring of Honor that like because I, I was always like you know maybe I don't watch Ring of Honor every week and keep up with everything other than trying to keep an eye on what friends of the show like Shane Taylor and Kelly Klein and people like that are doing. But it was always like, I will go and see a good show. And it was an okay show, and the attendance didn't help. I wrestled yeah. that day, and then uh, the next day at my shoot job, That's I right. saw somebody who was there. Yeah. And he said that they maybe had 300 people. Maybe. And I said, That's fucking terrible because I was bad. in Pittsburgh. I My girlfriend bought me tickets to the last show that they were before that. Yeah. And it was sold out. You know, yeah. it was huge. I think, I, I think Ring of Honor's problem is that they have a lot of guys who are there when they. Anybody who was there when Omega, Cody, the Bucks, yes. well, anybody who was there then is really like attendance is down. The the quote unquote stars, are, like, yes, those guys were your big time players. And that's happened. But, like but... Th- they're gone. They were rated. The talent was rated just like what happened to everybody else. But those guys that were there, like, oh, hey, the, uh, our quote unquote cash cows are gone. Mm-hmm. So, well, I'm just waiting for my turn to get signed. So, yeah. But now you've got guys like I'll I'll use these guys the Briscoes the Briscoes are probably never getting signed the no. Briscoes only because of all of the negative stuff they've had going on their social medias the open racism they've utilized like they could have got signed years ago to the mm-hmm. Fed easily mm-hmm. but the Briscoes have openly said some really heinous things mm-hmm. probably two of the best like I I'll be honest I think they might be the best tag team in the world not named the Young Bucks of the Revival. The Briscoes, I think, are and or the Dudleys, the, or yeah. the, I or mean, the like they're guys, actively wrestling actively now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or the uh, good guys. Yeah, I think the, the Briscoes guys, are NWA bound. For yeah, sure. I think so too. So all those guys that were there when all this money was flooding in, like the ones who are probably taking cuts in their contracts right now, the ones who are losing money, 
they're like, you know what? I, I don't really want to be here. I'm wrestling because I love to wrestle, but I don't want to be here. Mm-hmm. So, um, what the Ring of Honor needs is a lot. Like, I'll, I'll use us for example. They need guys like the good guys. They need guys like Lee Moriarty. They need guys who just want to wrestle, want mm-hmm. to make a name, and, it is a and want stage. to make wrestling yeah. Yeah. worthwhile. I was just, yeah. I was that's actually how they, just that's how they say. survived. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they've been, again, they've been through this reset several times. Yeah, exactly. Right? Because they they were rated in the late two thousands for a lot of WWE talent. They you, you look at like I'm watching uh, the War Games match and I'm like, hey, this is Ring of Honor from four years ago. Yeah. I was just gonna say to bring it back to us <laughs> <laughs> that it's character over wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. And Ring of Honor had these great characters and then lost them. There's no reason that Ring of Honor shouldn't have that AEW spot right now. All right, guys. Well, this is maybe going on record as maybe one of the longest wrestling mayhem shows in about five years. You're welcome. No. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Let's wrap it up. Real kick. <laughs> Lightning round. Okay. Predictions for the good guys in 2020. Tag Noctis. Chance. You want to start? We win at least three different tag team titles. At okay. least. Noct- uh, Zach? Uh, I see us going... To at least five different states, other than Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. Okay, five new states. Five, five new, new states. states. Five new states, and for sure, I mean confirmed, one new state. All right, Ronnie. Uh, I see us doing all these things and going to uh, Canada. International good guys. Yes, we're going to Canada guys. next year. Yeah. There yes. you go, uh, Mad Mike. Do you have a prediction for the good guys? I already said mine. They're going to bring of honor. Hard. Ring of Honor. There you go. Um, oh. Zach, uh, Riz. Wow. Other Zach. Uh, wow, you use my name. Kayfabe, yeah. brother. Um, yeah, Kayfabe. <laughs> <is> my name <laughs> is Zach, not yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, I think they're going to beat TME. They're, they're going to rise. They're going to beat TME for rise. For for the rise titles. Oh, whoa. Yeah. shit! Whoa. Someone even, call Marcus Man. Even bigger, good brother. Thirty dollars now. <laughs> you got that good, good you brother go. price. And we did this before, and and if you guys want to do it again, um, um, we had predictions for Wrestling Mayhem show last year. Uh, Riz, says you sound like you have one. Actually, I have another prediction. Okay, I see the good guys being a monthly. Uh, Wrestling that's Mayhem for Mayhem show. show. There you go. Shut up, Zach. There, Wrestling that Mayhem show. That's for me. okay. <laughs> For 2020. Riz? Uh, I think we're going to do more live shows. More live shows? Like more shows at events. Uh, like that pit fight one that we did? Yes. All right. Uh, well, all right. Yeah, I'm in was, for that. That was yeah. fun. Pit that fight, fun. Rise, uh, okay. RWA, okay. whenever we have like good internet there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Sorg, don't bury yourself to all these companies. Uh, what? Sorg, don't forget the chat predictions. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to that too. Um, like, sorry, we, we, we went several down some, reminders in there. <laughs> yeah, we went we down went down some some holes on this one. Um, but uh, what about you, Mad Mike? Uh, for the show, I predict that there will be a drunken voicemail left by the Triple M boys at my wedding. The Triple M boys? Me, you, and Matt. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> That sounds like a good wait, plan. Matt's going to talk? Oh, man. Are you guys ready for, for mayhem at wedding? Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm not Here ready. Here we yet. go. <laughs> You're not ready. <laughs> uh, from the, I'm going to go down the chat room. Oh, actually, wait, Ronnie, do you have anything for mayhem? We're going to have a good year. <laughs> You're going to have a good year. Good. That's a good, a good, good prediction. All right. Good uh, Bobby says release the no holds barred footage which i'm assuming because it's bobby requesting it that's our version of the snyder cut right yeah basically yeah. basically that's the snyder cut that, that was one of the specials that we get did it? yeah get it you uh, get it you get it oh you get it that, that's for snyder the little uh from the chat room Potter says aew will beat nxt for three weeks stretch bobby fj town said that uh grog grok grok will Grunk. debut in nxt Tina says another WWE uh, Performance Center will open. They could do a West Coast, or at least in our country. Um, well, Japan. they have three of them now because they just did a Saudi Arabia one too. Is yeah. it, is it yeah. Japan? They're going to do. I, they're going to do an, an Asia. I thought, I, they they have an Asia. I thought I heard Japan was. Like, I, yeah. You know what? I bet you they end up it in China through. first. 
Yeah, they're going to China first. They, they're no, working on China. I, sw- I swear I read somewhere that Japan was. I'll think the Germans have UK as a whole. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And they've been they've been bringing the German town to the UK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, four horsemen versus four horsewomen will happen by SummerSlam. That's a mania of mm-hmm. match. AEW will hit 1.5 to 1.75 million viewers by years end in 2020. Ooh, that's. P- that's broad. Ooh. That means they're all. That I don't means, know. I don't see the horsewoman, horsewoman thing. I do. I don't I see do, it. I do. Mania twenty twenty one. It's a good. It's a good idea, but I think the uh, the uh, MMA horsewomen are too green. It's going to mm. be mania twenty twenty one. Just been still needs to twenty. Work. Which one are we on now? Twenty. It's we're at twenty twenty now. It's okay. Yeah. No. Uh, maybe twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. That's going to be over in England. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see it happening this year. I, I don't think it's, it's just because Marina Marina Shafir and. Uh, just Manduke. Or just, they're just too green. Shafir's better than Manduke. That's which, why they just do run-ins. It's just, yeah. They're just yeah. too green. To Shafir have can go. Manduke needs some work. Yeah. Anyway, well, I mean, she's Sorry. Got, she's, Sorry, she's Mike. She's fucking Roddy Strong, so, I mean, you think she learned something. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> we keep taking over your show. Sorry. It's all right. All right. Also, it's going to go until 1 o'clock. Bobby says, uh, RJ and Dalton Castle will either be AEW or NXT in 2020, and Wardlow will be... Will have a Batista like run in AEW after he splits with MJF. Again, again, I don't know Wardlow. Mm-hmm. I've actually never seen work. Wardlow again. From what said, I'm, from, hold on, let me get it out. Sorry. Quick. From what I'm seeing, I don't see it happening. All right, it, well, it's early. It's early. Again, it's again, early. I've never and seen the brother seen work. work, and I, I I've have never seen the brother work. I've seen most of his career. I hear great things yes. from a lot of people. I hope he does well there. Noctis. Pittsburgh boy, just like myself and Noctis, you were around for Wardlow. Wardlow babyface is a star. Wardlow heel, really? Is, uh, I think Wardlow's a babyface <sighs> is a star. He's I don't a, know. Here's why. Uh, okay. Here's why. All right. All right. He's he's a pretty he's a pretty boy. At the end of the day, Wardlow's a pretty boy. Mm-hmm. That's a beautiful man. He's a hell of a worker, <laughs> and when he wants to, it's like Brock. When he sells, it like it mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. worth it. I I worked one match with Wardlow. He sold for me. Made me look like a stud. Really? Yes. Really. Yes, he sold. Uh, it was quick, and I said I, they gave. They told me I could get five minutes of Wardlow. I said I want thirty seconds. I was like, in thirty seconds, I can get myself over and him over more. Mm-hmm. And Plummer said, okay, sure, go ahead. And he sold for me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. and like, mm-hmm. Wardlow, he's a giving brother, and he's a good. He's a hell. Mm-hmm. He's a Matt Justice guy. He's a hell of a worker. It's a good dude. Good I hope. Dude. Yeah, I mean, I hope. I hope Wardlow does great. I would yeah, say. I, really I would say. I would say to maybe counter the heel. Uh, watch his revenge pro work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, working McChesney, working Bill Collier, uh, working PB Smooth, um, crowd ate it up, and I mean, there's a lot of pro Wardlow in the crowd, including his mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, but of uh, you know, the mama Wardlow's always there, and almost got in a fight. Um, but good, good. <laughs> uh, but I don't think that was the first time either. Um, but no, have you met so. Keith Hart's mom? Oh, Keith Hart's mom was hot. I don't. Keith Hart's think... mom must have murdered me. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She yeah. Hates no, my guts. I think I've only met his dad. His mom or her, yeah, his mom was there the first time I cut my hair, yeah, because of Keith Hot, yeah. The second time I cut my hair because of Keith Hot, huh. and she fucking hates my guts. Wow, M- Mr. Sorgatron, <laughs> can I pose a question to you? Okay, uh, what is one thing you want to see from an indie wrestling, uh, a Pittsburgh wrestling talent in twenty twenty? Well, yeah, Aside I, from the good guys, we don't not us. As far as Aside from I, what us, do you, like, uh, pick, Wardlow, pick somebody. Brit, well, what do you want? What do you want to see? Someone that's not something doing positive happen to somebody from Pittsburgh. Somebody, something positive for somebody like somebody that maybe hasn't gotten their due yet. Yes. Oof. Oof. Yes. This is jeez. You know, what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Gory off the table. Yeah, because Gordy is Gordy's been overdue forever. Because Gord again, that's a guy who, if he wants to, he can go get signed by anybody he wants, outside of Gordy. I think um, I don't know what it is, but I've been looking at Tony Johnson for a while, mm-hmm. and obviously doing great stuff in Rise. I think he's starting to put it together. I also noticed like it's a very different Tony Johnson when we're in Black Diamond. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's too comfortable because he's been there forever. But uh, when dude can go, dude can go. I and, I 100%. He's, and he's been and he's been doing a lot of new in the character world. He's been um, up with you know Joe Dabrowski's promotion and premiere. So I think he's getting around the right people to kind of push him. I I 100% agree with you because um I don't, I don't you were there right when I had the match with Tony in uh, Black Diamond. In Black Diamond, yeah. I asked Should've, for it yeah. because I you know Tony had been the the champion. Was it the beat the clock one? Yeah. Okay. And Tony had been there a while, and I asked for the match with Tony because Tony was probably the only guy I hadn't worked. Mm-hmm. 
And after the match, I felt like, I was like, man, I feel like it should have been way better. Mm-hmm. And not that it was a fault that Tony or no. me, I just felt like he was maybe a little unmotivated. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I feel like Tony can work hard if he really wants to. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I think that's a dude, if he's given the right kind of opportunity yeah. and, and again, he's, I mean, he's carrying the and trap that's, and rise and right that's now. That's no disrespect so, to Tony no, at all. No. I love Tony. Tony's a great guy. I, I'm just saying I'm seeing more potential than what's happening. Right. Right. right? I, I see him doing, uh, big things. If he really puts his mind to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pose something a little different to you. Okay. A complete change. And a devoid of the Spasmanian devil. I want to see Andrew Palace turn heel. Whoa. I want to see Andrew Palace come out. Because Andrew Palace, the person, is a super good dude. One of the best brothers in wrestling. Mm-hmm. I want to, But he's got this natural sense of confidence and arrogance that, at no fault of his own, mm-hmm. is there in his actual charisma. I want to see that. I want to see, not MJF style, but I want to see Andrew Palace just go out there and just like... The Spasman Devil's a character. Um, I want to see Palace go out there everywhere. Palace is another and one where completely I, I think yeah, they yeah. change his. I think if he does that little tweak, mm-hmm. he goes from being a star in Pittsburgh to a star across the country. I want to. I, I want to roll you back. Think back to Johnny Gargano, every everyday good guy, mm-hmm. you know, wholesome hey, dude. Hey, yeah. Verbiage there, but <laughs> what? Every gay, every gay good, good brother. Guy. Good guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But anyway. but he he he. I remember seeing him at WrestleMania 29 weekend at uh, WrestleCon, mm-hmm. and he was at the time doing Evolve, I think, mm-hmm. Dragon Gate, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. he had the white suit and he had this like serious persona, mm-hmm. and that's when things kind of bumped up for him. You, you, like Andrew needs kind of a a. I think he would benefit for something similar. A little less fun, a little more serious. Mm-hmm. Like because a guy in Pittsburgh has been booked. Lack of a better phrase, like John Cena. Gets mm-hmm. beat up, beat up, beat up, and then still wins and goes out on top. Right. I want to see the guy who takes all this talent, because as a wrestler, maybe one of the best in-ring dudes that's underrated. Mm-hmm. Dude can go. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I want to see Andrew Palace take all of that talent and all of that that attitude that he gives back to those anti-Palace guys at IWC mm-hmm. instead of embracing it, just say, you know what? I'm too good for all of you. Kind of like the latest Seth Rollins thing, right? Yes. Yeah, but, I, yeah, I agree 100% with this. At, okay. at a guy who's physically maybe shorter than Seth Rollins, but is probably, if you look at pound for pound, probably more imposing mm-hmm. because of height and size difference. I think Palace, especially with that hair, because if you look at Palace with his hair pulled back in that ponytail, that big poof in the back, he can have this look that no one else is going to have yep. because mm-hmm. he just has an, a, a different look to him. Palace is a guy. When I see him, I, I wonder why he hasn't been signed. I, I see a star mm-hmm. in the making and so that just I hasn't wonder, found the right combination. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Palace, uh, Palace needs a mouthpiece. I don't even know if that's it. Pa- I think I, it's just, I, I don't I, know. I think it's just like maybe situational. He's so used to that same. I think it's just like the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. I think you need something new. I think mm-hmm. that's all it is. A, a little cha- a little change will go a long way for Andrew. I think, yeah. uh, and I, like, as I said, I pose that out there. I think that little change again takes a regional star to a guy who could probably get signed anywhere in the country. Mm-hmm. I could say the same thing about, and maybe I'm a little biased because he he trained me. I think Fetty. Uh, yeah, I think Fetty's little, another yeah. guy. Uh, Fetty's on the way. Fetty's yeah. another guy. That's, Beastman, it's just Beastman one is on the way. It's I just think. one, maybe two steps, and mm-hmm. he's getting signed. I think we go away from Beastman a little more, a little more Fetty, and a little less Beastman. Mm-hmm. And it, because again, we we have the unfortunate circumstance of Jungle Boy made it to national TV first. That's right. Yeah. So that gimmick stolen. That gimmick is gone. Mm-hmm. I, I Fetty, think. Like, but Fetty had a match. It is a three way match. I can't remember who the third guy was. But it was Fetty another big hulking human being, an Elgin. Out in New Jersey, I was on that oh, show. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't remember and, who it was, but I know you're but, talking. About it. I saw it. El, like, but he went out there and was an absolute stud. Fetty's another guy when he when he wants to bust his fucking oh, ass, yeah. and it's and when you see that, you're like, why isn't he even signed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why? Mm-hmm. Someone so because big, he's so good at move, the character, and he can move too yep. when he wants to. I think like, Fetty. I think Fetty could get signed by Impact. Looking for at sure. looking at what well, we just filmed this weekend, um, AC Romero versus Larry D. Both guys, mm-hmm. Larry D. Just recently yeah. signed uh, AC a little bit ago, and big dudes. Like I was like, well, John Fun was taking these messages. Like I got the shot, sorry, did And I'm like, yeah, because I'm staying the fuck out of the way. And yeah. those dudes, like, uh, AC, yeah, and they can go. Like AC Romero. Yeah, that's who you're talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. Has nothing on Fetty. No. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I think no. Larry D might be a better 
character worker mm-hmm. because of what out to, what's out there because mm-hmm. we, mm-hmm. Fetty's relied so much on the Beast Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that Fetty does the Beast Man so good though. He does. He yeah. does it better than I mean, I, better I than agree. anyone since like Kamala. I agree, but again, like the old saying, whoever makes it on TV first wins. Yeah, yeah. That's so un- that's unfortunately true. Yeah. 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 So if he changes that, just a little tweak here, a little I tweak think, there, I think my I know, kid just fell off the chair. I know. I know for <laughs> sure. Fetty has had. Uh, I don't know if I want to drop names, but he's had, uh, fuck it. He's had Gunn and uh, Daniels tell him to send him shit. Yeah, yeah. I know. He's, the, been, he's been out, he's been getting looks. And the he's the, been, uh, yeah, the yeah. only unfortunate thing is that they already have Jungle Boy. Mm-hmm. Like I so said, I think, little tweak. I don't know if it's maybe he needs to give him a change or what, mm-hmm. but I there's no reason Fetty, Fetty or Palace or, or Impact already has Congo Kong. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and yeah. The, like I said, you know, like I said, Fetty or Palace or who else do we talk yeah. about? Oh, uh, Lee. Lee, yeah. yeah. There's, I, I mean, know. for for some reason, like, yeah. Why haven't these dudes been signed yet? Yeah, yeah, and you know Lee, what, like, Lee's uh, a little more understandable because he's again, a lot younger. Yeah. But like Fetty and Palace is like, why haven't these dudes been signed? And you yet? know what? I will absolutely ride Fetty's coattail all the way to those tryouts. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All right. Anybody else have one they want to put in? We we really got to get out of here. So sorry. So Ronnie can sorry, go fans. to sleep. Fuck Ronnie. Poor Sarks. Ronnie. He doesn't Ronnie's need not sleep. sleep tonight. No. But- Hashtag date Ronnie Starks. That's right. Yeah, if you want to. Hashtag uh, good guys NWA. Um, thank you guys. Where again? Where can people find you guys on the social media? The good guys social media. Uh, oh. I am Zach F and Hunter on Twitter and Instagram, and Noctis is on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at real underscore Noctis. Also mm-hmm. on Facebook, actually. Yes, more people had Noctis. If you want to find us on Instagram, we're at. Good, the, good the Good Guys, guys Wrestling good guys, good guys, good guys. on Instagram, Twitter, there, and Facebook. There is a Twitter page that is ran by somebody that isn't us. So if you want responded Kayla, to, uh, res- you can Monroe message them. Office. She will get a hold of us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or the Good you, Guys Handler. You could email me at real underscore knockers for booking inquiries. Or if you just want to shoot the shit and uh, you know talk wrestling. We yeah. want wait. to go everywhere. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Real mm-hmm. underscore knockers at... That's at yahoo.com. I'm okay, sorry. thank you. You didn't sorry. say that part. At yahoo.com. Because, he, because I'm old, so I still use Yahoo. We want to go literally everywhere. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll go anywhere as long as I ask my girlfriend permission first. <laughs> you know the heat is going to be so real. I don't have to ask my girlfriend for permission. I just have to make sure the dog is going to As be long as there. Frank's okay. I'm single. I do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> single and ready to mingle. Ronnie Starks, baby. Uh, Riz is also single. Uh, Do you want to date Ronnie Stark? Hashtag date Riz. Hashtag date Riz. He's uh, gainfully yes. employed and, uh, and gainfully uh, employed and a Twitch affiliate. Yeah, is he go. making that Fed money too? He's making, he's making that Twitch affiliate money at uh, least. Okay, yeah. all right. That's well, good. Uh, Riz plays games. Kind of. Riz plays games on Twitch and on Twitter and on Facebook. And on Mastodon, if you're on there, I don't know if anybody's on there. What? What is hell exactly? Mastodon? Mastodon? Isn't, that a, isn't that a porn site? Like the band? Nobody knows. Wait, Fun wasn't, anyways, wasn't that one of the Black Power Rangers Megazord? Yes, it was. It really was. Yes. His name was Zach. Uh, yeah. it, it, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to be playing some more games this week. There you go. Uh, I sure hope so. That's a gimmick. Are you creating the good guys on 2K20? It's like back up to 60 bucks now. No. You haven't? <laughs> I haven't, 2K19. I haven't had that game. I don't even Whatever. have that game yet. Maybe, 2019. Yeah, maybe when they finish it. They're going down. Maybe there. when, they, maybe going when down their glitches are done, maybe I'll play that. Uh, but I do have Sonic Team Racers. There you go. Hmm. There you go. I got that on the Apple Arcade, yo. Uh, Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter. Also, YouTube.com slash Poppy. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mad Mike. At oh. Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. We got a couple of things recording this week, but of course, there will be some stuff all over the holidays. Uh, I can't guarantee uh, I can't guarantee the, the New Year's week. We'll see what happens, but uh, a lot of fun happening. And of course, the uh, the we are recording the Sexy Talented Dudes STD Christmas special at 7 p.m. Wednesday Not this week. Uh, we'll, we'll see the competition. I don't know. They got pots of death. Why don't we just do a joint? That that that's what we gotta do for I hate January. Corey that'll be that'll be next year. <laughs> that'll be Christmas in uh, July. I like Corey, but I mean, if you hate him, I guess it's. <laughs> I guess I hate him if you hate him. I don't can, know. Can, real quick, can I plug one non-wrestling related podcast? No. Uh, why? 
Here's why. Is so, it the ENC part of no, Awesomeness and this no. around me? So there's a gentleman who he's involved in wrestling business. He's a good brother. His name's Greg. Okay. Right? He does a D and D podcast. Hi, Greg. Greg. Right. No. So it's We Can Trip, a D and D play podcast. It's a phenomenal podcast. Are you familiar with Bardic Mystery Tour? I am. Yes. I'll be honest. I think this might be the best play podcast I've ever All listened right. to. All right. They're tre- nerds. They're, they're, I was just their DM like, is nerds. So if you can give them a give them a holler, we go. can trip. It's worth listening to. Check that out and check out Bardic Mystery Tour. They're on this uh, uh, network as well. So. Sorry for oh, stepping on your. Oh, no, that's fine. They're I listen good. to six podcasts, and five of them are wrestling related, yeah. and the other ones metal related. No, it's comic books. <laughs> <laughs> um, but by the way, also wrestling connection. Chris Maverick, original uh, manager for uh, One Walking Wild back in the day, uh, is on Comic Book Pit for the next two weeks. So uh, oh, tune nice. into that too. That's not us. I don't so, know what you're talking no. about. <laughs> <It's Chris>. We <laughs> only have one manager. That's Ronald F. Starks. There you go. And Ronnie Starks uh, is no Chris Maverick. Uh, there you go. He's, <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's Gentleman, better. Right. Gentlemen, Ronnie Starks. There you go. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for a wonderful 2019. It's been, it's seriously been a great freaking year. Thank you, everybody, that's uh, welcomed me when I hey, drop into your town for work or wrestling shows. Uh, thank you to the wrestlers for being so so great and being on the show. And one and wanting to be on the show, too. Like You have no, no idea how many requests I've received this year so once, once a month Sorg, there you guys. go there you go Sorg, thank you thank yeah, you thank Sorg. you Sorg. Yes, thank absolutely. you Sorgatron media Where's thank Mrs. you for Sorgatron? allowing us to come put ourselves <laughs> over and bury others <laughs> time out the real unsung hero of the entire Sorgatron empire don't steal my gimmick dude. mrs Sor- mrs Sorgatron yes shout out to mrs Sorgatron she left Where'd hours she ago she left hours ago because she knew oh, where this was gonna go because yeah. <laughs> she knew we were gonna be a minute because if i was gonna if i was gonna move the internet she didn't want to be she around print out it. these pictures can we pay her yes, to she print did. out ours yes she, she, <laughs> we need to talk to her potentially we'll talk to you after the thing thank you mrs Sorgatron <laughs> thank you missy you're the best she'll give you a special good guys uh the best rate. no no the good brother is terrible the good brother wrestler better than all the wrestlers okay and right. all that, can we uh can we do one where we talk about ready to rumble? Here? Thank you. Though, yeah, I'm sure Mad Mike will do a ready for rumble one with you. Uh, so. I, will, yes. I will. I will. legit do a ready to rumble. Mad Mike's becoming my best friend slowly. Right can we? Can we do <laughs> very very? Can slowly. we do a watch along to ready to rumble? Yes. Yes. I will, I will we're do. gonna we're gonna discuss some some plans for 2020. Sorry. Thank you so much, everybody, staying up late with us. Ready it to is, rumble it is watch now, along coming. It is soon. now next week. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you guys next next time. Uh, uh, stay tuned. Of course, Christmas Eve, we should be launching the uh, Decade in Review with Joe Dombrowski, also with some interesting thoughts about Pittsburgh Indie Wrestling and uh, and other indie, other professional wrestling over the years. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time in the Don't give up what you want. Take it back. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.